Ah, oh, yes. Do not break the fourth wall. The audio go like that? I think so. Ah, oh, yes. Gorgeous game. Grand Hotel Cygnus Station. Please Take that, bestie kid. The car. Wow, look at this place. This is majestic. Definitely. It's not called the Grand Hotel for nothing. But we didn't choose it for the luxury. The Cygnus is the only hotel in Arcadia with a monorail station built inside. Hmm. I see. So, what's the plan now? Oh, yes. To get you Cleaning out like robot. any other Arcadia tourist, you'll need one of those badges I told you about. Didn't you just say that all tourist areas are restricted unless you wear the badge? How am I going to get into your suite then? We'll have to slip you through the service zones and then get you to the room floors. Oh, okay. See? Makes sense. There we go. Yeah, I like how when we're playing as Trevor, it's like only the side view, like a sitcom. Beyond this point, wear your access badge. Guess it's not even worth trying, is it? Ah, forget it. That door won't open. Hmm. Just keep going until you find a storage door. I'll open it for you. Ah. Hey, we're running. Nice. Hey, there's a giant storage cabinet blocking my way. Oh, uh, I'll take care of it. Move left. Why? Uh, select device. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Uh, and then? Can you go back? No. Oh, I see. And now we go back. Do that. Oh. Can't get it further out. We can put all of these in, but then... That wouldn't quite work. Yeah, one of them is green. I wonder what that means. Oh, you think he fits in? <gasps> oh. Okay, but then how do we get him out? <laughs> um. Oh, if I. Whoa. Oh, I didn't see that. Ah. Oh. Kovacs, Smart. I was wondering. Wouldn't it have been easier if you just entered Arcadia like a regular tourist and simply handed me the badge? No can do. I have to be here to operate the devices to help you. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, that's a valid point. Ooh, where are we now? Darkness. Should I jump to the right? Oh, he did it. I can't see anything. It's so dark. Any lights you can turn on? Ah, there you go. That helps. Hmm. Okay. Can I... How do I grab this? Do you want to put this... Oh, okay. can't put that down. Nice. Um, push it. Yeah. Can we now put this all the way to the left, I wonder? Can you nudge it over the... Hey, nice! Nice, nice, nice. Good job. Hey. 
Wait, aren't I just going back now? Oh. Hee hee hee! There we go! <laughs> um, Kovacs? Yeah? You're always saying, we are doing this, we are planning that. I'm gonna assume you're working with someone else, right? Yes. I'm a member of an activist group, so to speak. It's called Breakout. Its founders... Well, let's just say you're not the first person who tried to escape from Arcadia. Oh. The incident was known as the Arcadia 6 Breakout. Although the event has always been categorically denied by Walton Media, in January 1992, six Arcadia-born citizens successfully evaded the confinement measures and managed to escape from the city. Shortly after, Walton Media was the target of several boycott actions that resulted in severe financial losses for the company and reignited the debate about the ethical treatment of Arcadia-born citizens. Mm. A group named Breakout released a statement taking responsibility for the actions. Its leader, known only by his alias, Number Six, claimed to be one of the escapees in the 1992 incident. We will never cease in our struggle against Walton Media until the company listens and all Arcadian prisoners are released. And if our words are not enough to make them listen, maybe our actions will be. A struggle that today, almost 30 years after the Arcadia 6 breakout, still continues. Huh. Guess this is my stop. So are we past the door now? What is that? Wait, where are we? What is Jesus, this running? This is really high. Again. How? Why do your escape plans always involve making me climb way up high? The most discreet route isn't always the safest one. Sorry about that. Some kind of show going on. Signy Grove. Your enjoyment is an instrumental version of Merle Jefferson's Don't Be a Fool. Ah! Not that song again, damn it. What's the matter? Don't you like it? I liked it better before it became the theme song for Trevor Hill's worst day ever. Move wings, move heads. Oh. No one is seeing this. <laughs> oh, that was a scary one. Hmm, I feel like I won't make that jump. Huh, should we just try it? Uh, ah! Okay, that's not it. Oh, uh, maybe we have to go down? Okay, so first the head. Then the wings. And then the head again. Oh, no, wrong way. Oh, uh, that's death as well. Okay, can't fall down to the other row. Although that one might be a little closer. Like maybe I can slide down this one. Yeah! Wow, okay. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> you know what, Kovacs? I was just thinking of this day when I was in fifth grade. Right before the bell rang, Scott Horvitz, the official class bully, picked on me. I didn't even fight back. But the teacher sent both of us to detention on Saturday. Hmm. And because of that, I missed the trip to Comet Land that I've been waiting for all year. Aw, that well, sucks. That miserable day is now a touching memory to cherish compared with today. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Trevor, honestly, but it's the only way. That sucks. 
There is a laundry cart ahead. Get inside and make sure you can't be seen. An auto droid will bring it to the room floor shortly. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hey, at least this is clean laundry. That's something. <laughs> how how long am I supposed to wait in here, Kovacs? I don't know. My suite is in the ninth floor, so the ninth floor? Shh, pipe down. The auto droid's coming. Listen, when you get into my what a room, cutie. you'll find a suitcase that well, you don't need any further description. Let's just say that my suitcase really stands out. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, three days ago. Okay. Next, please. Oh, is this me checking in Hello. the suitcase? Hello, welcome to your holidays in Arcadia. Please leave your luggage on the conveyor belt. May I scan your Arcadia e-ticket, please? Hehehe, <laughs> it's sure, a cute one. Here you go. Just give me a second while I find your booking. Oh, here it is. Four nights in a deluxe suite at the Grand Hotel Cygnus for Sylvia Lauren, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Your deluxe suite includes the Insta delivery service for your vacation at no additional cost. So your bags will be in your room in just a few seconds. Oh, wow. That's convenient. Remember that you give your permission to open, search, check, and scan your luggage in case you've forgotten any modern technological devices inside it. Oh. <laughs> of course. But don't worry, there's nothing inside. I've been really careful. Great! Just a few more things. Hmm. Before your entry day, you must take the Elijah Walton's Dream of Tomorrow ride down this hallway to the left. You don't have to wait in line. Speedway access is included with your deluxe booking. And finally, remember, okay. on your entry day, don't wear any modern clothing, piercings, dyed hair, or any other fashionable items that might be dyed considered hair. anachronistic for the people of Arcadia. We love your look, but we can't let you break the fourth wall. Hmm. <laughs> Will do. Thank you so much. Thank you, and enjoy your holidays in Arcadia. Wait, you're not even allowed piercings. Ugh. Two more seconds of corporate curtsy and I would have puked rainbows. Next part of the plan. Gotta get this stupid thing inside my suitcase so Trevor can wear it. So this is the... Oh my god, it looks like a Twitch stream. <laughs> That's so weird. Whoa. 342,000 viewers. It's highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to install the AA app. So Steve it's just... It's also highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to give the AA app a five-star rating. Sort of showing random it's people. It's highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to install the AA app. It's also highly recommended for all Walton Media employees to give the AA app a five-star rating. Oops, I clicked it twice. This is constantly repeated to all Arcadia visitors. It means revealing something from the outside world to an Arcadian-born citizen. Damn. Yeah, because they all dress like they're in the 70s. Only a megalomaniac like Vivian would order her face to be carved in stone. Just a popular guy. <laughs> How Steve just became the embodiment of the American way of life. That this dimwit is the most popular person in the city really sums up what Arcadia has become. Don't be a fool. I'm crazy about this song. Poor Trevor must be crazy about it too, but for different reasons. Arcadia's greatest artist is a talented young woman locked in a gilded cage. A musical genius and another unknowing prisoner. Hmm. Oh, can't read it. I'm not wearing my glasses. We'll probably have to get Trevor in this thing to get inside the Cygnus. Oh yeah, right. This is three days ago, so she, that's how she did it. The Adam's mascot is basically Comet on steroids. I believe the Arcadia Adams have a special agreement of some sort with the NFL. Man, I have dreamed of going to Comet Land ever since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. But knowing what I know of Arcadia now, no way. Don Walton and Senator Milton Burbank. Full. Full. After that handshake, the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to legally adopt and raise children. Oh my god. That sounds so bad. Not that I'm a fan of the original American Arcadia, but it wasn't as bad as what we have now. I think I saw some episodes of this Comet reboot. Not bad, but it didn't have the charm of the classic shorts. 
Edna, I'm home. <laughs> I revisited some episodes recently. Still hilarious. It's weird how she's so against it, but at the same time, she did she did grow up with it, and she loves the shows and stuff. Looking at things like Mohawk Mike, it's no wonder everybody says the '80s were the worst era for Walton media shows. Why does this person look like Julian? <laughs> Julia could totally cosplay as this. <laughs> the punk is feeling lucky. This Ooh. movie is so cool. I love dark fantasy. Yeah, that looks awesome. I worked on the reboot during my first six months here. It was affected by the big shutdown of 2018. And science always finds a way. My childhood was built on Arpad Kovacs playing songs about science to his piano. Best TV show ever, period. Hmm. It was in this season that American Arcadia went from being a family reality show to the horrible human zoo it is now. It really is a human zoo, yeah. When I was a kid, I used to blink my left eye every now and then to see if I could do magic like Ginger the Witch. <laughs> People thought I was having a seizure. <laughs> oh, I love this movie. A 19 Calls the sea! That's their John game! Fontaine and Gregory Peck. What a weeper. The ending always brings me to tears. This is their game that they made. That we played. Call of the Sea. And that's them. That's so cool. The award-winning 1950s film. Oh, cool. The evolution of the most popular cartoon <laughs> dog in so history. So Disney. Ugh. Its costumes in the 30s were creepy as hell. Yeah. This guy ugh. looks like the dude in a bear suit from The Shining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. Comet's first short, Spaceship Boogie. Spaceship Boogie. It's probably the most popular, but I think there are better comet shorts than this one. Walton always said that his beagle Monty was the main inspiration for Comet. Aww. His macho one liners might sound a little outdated nowadays, but man. Bogart as Doc Wolf is film history. Oh yeah, I grew tired of the Barry and Slim slapstick movies quickly. But the serious <gasps> film they Whoa, did look at this one! Good. Creepy the faces! Of one of H. A. Ryan's horror novels. Oh, I want this game. What if they what if there's an Easter egg in here and one of these posters is like their next game that they're working on? A boy from Minnesota without a nose. Dude, this is I've never ridden a this massive thing, hall. but according to my research, the access to the luggage scanning area is inside there. Hmm. Nice souvenirs. Huh. There's a suitcase. Posters. Can I just... Do you not do you don't do you don't mind if I come behind the counter? <laughs> Feels so weird. Hi. <laughs> don't mind me. Just checking out the goods. How about a nice big cup of sarcastic comments? That guy won everything. Even the Oscar for Best Picture. Ah. Oh. Elijah Walton's distinctive blue suit and tie. Cool. Legend has it that Elijah personally supervised every script at Walton Media. Most of the Blue Fountain oh. Mall gets its name from a famous club where Hollywood writers used to have drinks after work. Ah. Okay, that was this bit. Whoa. Is this the city? Arcadia was never intended to be this... Crazy megalopolis. Yeah, this is much smaller, right? Oh, and that's Comet Land? Whoa. Hello. Big. I think I looked at most of it. That monstrosity is so high that it even sticks out of the Arcadia Dome. Whoa! They built something that sticks out through the roof of the dome? Okay, I'm ready. An entry checkpoint to Arcadia. I'll go in there over my dead body. Okay, so she doesn't want to go in there. A replica of Walton's electric car. Wow. Nobody knows where the real Walton mobile is. 
Okay, so that's that. I don't need to wait in this line. I have the speedway access. Right. Where is the speedway access? Um. Oh, speedway entrance. Do I just go here? Hello. Wow. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Science always finds a way. Let's see what this ride is all about. Excuse me, excuse me. Ho ho! Hee hee! Wee! <laughs> to Elijah Walton's dream of tomorrow. Embark on a journey to discover how the greatest creative genius of the 20th century envisioned and built Arcadia. For your safety, please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the room <laughs> and supervise your children. Wow, <laughs> this actually feels like a ride. <laughs> in a small rural community of Minnesota, influenced by his favorite author, Jules Verne, young Elijah dreamed of being a novelist or a scientist, but he ended up working in the film industry instead. Wow. After working as a scriptwriter in Hollywood in the 30s, Elijah and his brother Donald founded their own company, Walton Pictures. Call it to see. They produced many successful box office hits, some of which are now considered timeless classics. This is so well done. Wow. Elijah Walton wanted to reach a broader audience beyond the movie theater. And his wishes were ultimately fulfilled when television arrived in all the living rooms in America. Science always finds a way. Wow. And what a way that was. Broadcast in Visiorama, the innovative 3D audio and video system, Architects of Tomorrow became a must-see show every Saturday night in the 1950s. The show was famous for its unique songs, its combination of live action and animation, and the closing goodbye message from Elijah <laughs> Walton in his prototype electric car, known as the Walton Mobile. After a decade of unprecedented success, Walton wow. Pictures, now known as Walton Media, decided to undertake its most ambitious project, the acquisition of a huge piece of land in the Midwest to build the city of tomorrow. A city named Arcadia. Well, that's Among not what it looks like today. Hand man and Is it? Architects of Tomorrow host Arpad Kovacs, the first prototype of the Arcadia project began construction. This small prototype community is known today as Classic Arcadia or Old Arcadia. Hmm. Sadly, a heart failure deprived Elijah Walton of seeing his magnum opus finished. Oh. On June 3rd, 1963, the world of entertainment mourned the loss of the most creative and talented mind of the 20th century. Oh, what about when Kovacs was kicked to the curb? Mm, don't you have an animatronic for that? Hmm, I wonder if it was actually a natural Overcoming death. Overcoming his grief for the loss of his brother, Donald Walton took the reins of the company. Under his guidance, Project Arcadia was Oh, Donald? Where did American you not agree Arcadia's with your brother? ...is still the second most watched event in American television history, just after the Apollo 11th moon landing. Do you think Donald did something? And the first Arcadia residents didn't even know their private lives were being sold and broadcasted. The success of the show attracted so many new residents to the city that old Arcadia soon became too small. It was evident that a larger, broader, oh, and I see. city was needed. And thanks to the cooperation between Walton Media and Senator Milton Burbank, the Burbank Act was approved, so Arcadia grew and expanded to the size that Elijah Walton had always envisioned. Oh. You are omitting the tiny detail that the small print of the Burbank Act allowed Walton Media to lock people up as if they were inside a damn zoo. This is the Arcadia we all know and love. An immense retro-futuristic metropolis inside a weather-controlled dome 
where each and every citizen enjoys a life of luxury and comfort. Hmm. Broadcast live 24-7 for more than 55 seasons. The most watched media phenomenon on the planet. Mm, but it's a negative growth now, Vivian dear. <laughs> now that you know the story, you're ready to begin your journey. Soon you'll be accessing your entry checkpoint to Arcadia. As we speak, your luggage is being carried ah, there it is. to your hotel room. There it is, my suitcase. I'll have to get into that room. You gonna jump out? My grandfather, Elijah Walton, had mm, a I dream can't. to build the city of tomorrow. A dream that my great uncle Don continued. Now it's up to me, mm. Vivian Walton, to keep that dream alive. But this dream wouldn't be a reality if it I really think you. Donald did something to his brother. Because you truly are my grandfather's dream. You are Arcadia. You truly are my grandfather's dream. Shut your pie hole, you stupid bitch. <laughs> Savage! <laughs> you wanna go in there? Oh, weird. Just a mannequin that they didn't use. Huh. Wait, now we're back here! Maybe we can go back through the door we came. Cast room. Ooh. This must be the cast member's room. Red light indicates an animatronic malfunction. Use your key to activate the manual override. Use your key to activate the manual override. Select the ride section where the problem is. Enter the animatronic number from the selected section. A red light in every section will immediately stop the ride. If the ride stops, the ride doors will open. Okay. Ah, huh. an attraction always loses a bit of its charm when you see how it works from inside. <laughs> <sighs> Not this one. Didn't have any charm to begin with. Ha <laughs> ha! This must be the key for the manual override. Okay, take it. Ah! 100% Walton. Uh, okay. Where do we activate the override? Oh, now we're here. Ah. So we want to be... 2712... Wait, does it matter? Uh, section one, section two. Section three is where we want to be. Oh wait, maybe we should do like that. Okay. So we want to sec. We want to close everything down, right? What about section one? Can we see any numbers? Hmm. There's a 1 8 there, but how do we see anything else? And I'm trying for one is in the storage room. Oh, that's the one who's writing. Um. Oh, I see. A broken animatronic six, seven, from one, the first one. section of the ride. Its number is 6711. I see. Okay, now we just need to figure out number three. So it ends on one eight, but two seven. What was the first one? Oh, it changes camera. Nope. Ah, oh, nine five eight one eight. Nine five one eight. Got it. <laughs> I managed to sabotage the ride. Good. It wasn't Good. worth the wait anyway. Oh, everyone's gone. Everyone's like, get the fuck out of here. Does it say it on the back? 
<laughs> we did it. Ugh. Silent animatronics give me the creeps. Yeah. Ooh, we're gonna go in there. Oh, oh this is creepy. I have to crawl inside that duct. <laughs> See how you like it. This is what you let Trevor do all the time. If anyone sees you, just act like you belong. Look at you. Hmm. My luggage info might be on my Arcadia e-ticket. Better check my phone. Uh, AA3? That's your flight, isn't it? Can I do anything on the... Oh, AA1? Four... Three. Okay. C22, does that matter? Oh. Nope. Wrong locker. Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, that's the time, maybe. 11.45? Hmm. Damn it, where did they put my suitcase? There's a poster behind me. Oh! So... This table shows the locker assigned to each car and seat. Car 10, deluxe. 2i. It's no. not in here. Yeah! Okay, I'll leave the badge inside. Let's hope I could get Trevor to the Cygnus in time. And then... Out of Arcadia. Hmm. I'll talk to you in three days. Cool. Trevor? Trevor, can you hear me? Huh? The coast is clear. Out of there, now. Jeez, that took a long time. I almost fell asleep inside that cart. <laughs> you need to get into the luxury suite at the end of this hallway so you can grab the badge. And make sure no one sees you without it. Okay. Gotta be sneaky. Nine ten. Hey, there's an auto droid in here. Unidentified yeah, individual. it's preparing the room. Just Please ignore it. I need to turn the insta delivery device on. Oh. This machine is supposed to bring your suitcase here, right? Yes. So, is it... Unidentified ah. individuals, please wear your badge or leave. Turning off. Room is not ready yet. What the... Turning off device. Please stop turning on. Room is not ready yet. <gasps> turning off de... Turning off. Knock Room it off, Wally. Turning off <gasps> device. Oh, stop turning everything off. Please stop turning on device. Maybe now we'll have enough turning time. Off. God, I hate this stupid robot. Room is not ready yet. Turning off. Turning off. Room Knock it off, yet. Wally. Turning off device. God, I, I need to stall, device. right? Please, uh. please stop turning on devices. Turning off. Room oh, is not stop please turning, stop everything turning off. on devices. Turning off. Nice. Now it's going for the other one. Knock it off, Wally. Hmm. Lock him in the bathroom. Ooh, you think we can? Knock it off, Wally. <gasps> oh, I can. Okay. Turning off. Smart. <sighs> oh no, no, I'm trapped. That More was a great idea, Trevor. <laughs> That's what I call teamwork. That yeah, was yeah, Chad's idea. Your luggage be here already? No, 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 you didn't use the badge to access your room, so technically you're not inside the room yet. And that's why I need to manually oh. redirect my suitcase through the Insta delivery card. It's it's okay, Kovacs. I don't need to know every detail. It's just that this plan is getting a little confusing. <laughs> just leave it to me, okay? I, g give me a second. Oh. Well, well, well. Where are you, you tacky, hideous suitcase? Hmm. This changes the direction of the conveyor belt. Mm-hmm. 
Where are the suitcases? Ah, there it is. Oh. I have to reroute the conveyor belt to get it to the suite. Let's see. This is to open and close that hatch. Okay. But I need to change the direction. Where is it though? That one? There it goes. Oh, I don't know which way it needs to go from here though. This switch rotates this thing. Okay, so now we have it there. Where do we want to go from there? To D? Hmm. Oh, wrong one. Like, I think here. Okay, and then it goes to D. Where is D? I don't know where D is. Where did- Oh, oh, it's back here. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, wrong one again. Oh wait, uh, uh, um, where is the thing? I can only close the barrier here? Oh, what if we send it to B? Let's see where it goes. Ah, okay. Uh, I don't know where this- Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then... Uh, no. I need more time. Yes! Oh, I think I figured it out. And here is your luggage, mister. Please <laughs> remove obstruction. Okay, I got the badge. Finally! That aggravating hunk of metal was a real pain in the ass. You mean the badge or the droid? <laughs> we should let him out. <laughs> Here you go, sir. Here's my badge. Welcome to your room, Miss Lauren. Now, Enjoy Trevor, your go to the elevator on the left side and join Bye. Okay. They'll be exiting the city Whatever. soon. <laughs> I have to let him out. He's just doing his work, you know. He's just doing his best. Wrong tourist. Be confused with another person. Whee! <laughs> Oh, hello. Hello. We like my badge. Hello. Hey, you in group six, pal? A PA called group six to the bus stop just a few minutes ago. Oh. Oh, really? Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, and by the way, I have to say your look is amazing, man. Straight from the good old 70s. Ah, <laughs> thank you. Mm. So he really is just from old Arcadia Good and he old doesn't. 70s! Trevor, shut your mouth. What year are we in? We're in 2023. Ah, we're in the future? Lower your voice, damn it. It's Arcadia that's in the past. It's always been. I'll explain it to you later. Have a nice day in Arcadia, sir. Thank you. Thank you, but I'm afraid today is my last day in the city. Oh, we're so sorry to see you leave, but please come back soon. Trevor, what are you doing? You planning on becoming BFS with the Clark? I was just being polite. What is being polite an old-fashioned custom in 2023 or what? Kinda. Group six, please. Uh, come to the backyard bus stop. Group six. Group six, please come to the backyard bus stop. Yeah, you're not exactly blending in in that outfit. Well, so this is a new Arcadia we're in now. Look, Trevor, it's almost over. There's the bus. Don't do anything stupid. Just get on and zip your trap until we reach the checkpoint. Okay. Group six, 
Group six, please. Uh, with me, here. The bus seems I, busted. I know we were supposed to be leaving in a few minutes, but uh, there seems to be some sort of last minute problem with our bus. Mm -mm. Uh, but don't worry, our good friend Antonio is going to try to fix it, and I am sure we will be on the road in a jiffy. So uh, don't worry, folks. I guarantee you we will make it to the central station in time. Oh, no way. You gotta be kidding me. What's the music for? Are you getting a phone call? Hello? Kovacs. Who are you? How did you get this number? This is Breakout speaking. I am number six. Listen carefully. The chief of security is headed to your office right now. Uh -oh. He will be there any minute. M my office? B but what's going There is no time. Listen, act casual and try to answer everything calmly. Avoid mentioning any kind of involvement with Trevor Hills. O okay, uh, I'll try to remember. Good luck. We're counting on you, Kovacs. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody, so uh, Hide your computer. I have some good news and some bad news. Uh, uh, which one do you uh, want first? Don't you have to, like, the exit the... That the bus carrying us to our you need to get away from your desk! <laughs> definitely out of order. But, but, the good news is that you get some extra free time until a new bus Do you think the city's comes. on lockdown? <laughs> you get to do some sightseeing. Isn't that great? <gasps> oh, come on. I know, I know, I know, folks. I am, I'm really sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, but I will see you on the other side of Memory Lake. So I can't change the screen. So please make your way over there and just wait for the new bus to come. Oh, Kovacs, I can see one of the... Beastie guys. <laughs> Beastie guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it, what do I do? Move, Trevor. Stay hidden. Wait, I'm playing him? Oh, Lord. Hello. My name is Marcus Javert, Arcadia's chief of security. My job? To make sure nobody leaves Arcadia. Okay. My means? Whatever I consider necessary. My aptitudes. Hand-to-hand -hand and armed combat, high-speed pursuit, open field manhunts. And detecting when someone is lying to me. If you'll excuse me, I have a few questions to ask. Uh-huh. Uh, of course, Go yeah, back. no problem. Who are you talking to? Miss Solano. Is your name pronounced Angela or Angela? Right there. Both are fine, but uh, most Shit. people call me Angela. Fine. No, 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 no. Trevor! You better have an explanation for this. Wait, what did I... How am I supposed to... Uh... Excuse me, I have a few questions to ask. Uh, uh, of course, Go yeah, back. no problem. Who are you talking to? Miss Solano. Is your name pronounced Angela or Angela? Both are fine, but uh, so most people call me Angela. Fine. Angela? Oh, proceed. that dude saw me in the back. Oh, I see. I've got you now, I didn't even Solano. recognize him. But there's a black suit guy in the back. If you'll excuse me, I have a few questions to ask. Uh, uh, of course, Go yeah, no problem. Who are you talking to? Miss Solano. Is your name pronounced Angela or Angela? There. Both are fine, but uh, most people call me Angela. Your name fine. Is Angela? Let's proceed. Um, <clears throat> may I ask why you're... I'm afraid that information is classified. All I can say is we're facing an extremely exceptional situation. Okay. And exceptional situations call for exceptional measures. Right now, I'm gathering information from all Walton stage technicians. Is he gonna turn around? <sighs> so, is this like a an interrogation huh. or? Think of it more as a loyalty test, oh. if you will. I'll yeah. Read the questions <laughs> out loud. Please select whichever answer best represents your views. I'll display the possible answers for you on the monitor. Just don't look at my monitor, okay? I'm loading the app now. Hold on a sec. Oh my god. It's loading. <laughs> According to you. Which one of the following is or has been the most influential figure in okay. Arcadia? Most influential figure? Vivian Walton? A revealing answer. I'll make note of that. Revealing? What do you mean by that? Loading the next question. Please stay silent. Let me write that down, Miss Solano. 
Which one of the following images best describes your five years, eight months, and seven days of work at Walton Media? Uh, fun? The party balloons. Interesting. Let's proceed. Loading the next question. Oh, he saw me? Dang it. What are you doing there? Oh, right, the water. I forgot. Dang it. It's really hard to do this as there's questions. According to you, which one of the following is or has been the most influential figure in Arcadia? Uh, should we do him then? Elijah Walton? A revealing answer. I'll make note of that. Revealing? What do you mean by that? Loading the next question. Please stay silent. This is so difficult. <laughs> I'm registering your answer. Which one of go, the go, following go, go, go. images best describes your five years, eight months, and seven days of work at Walton Media? The balloons. The party balloons. Interesting. Okay, now I gotta wait for the water. Let's proceed. Loading the next question. Yeah. Okay. Go 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 You were saying? Wait, what? They are a dangerous activist group that threatens Walton Media's interests. Are you sure you want to answer that? You can change your answer if you'd like. No. No, I want to keep my answer. A controversial opinion, definitely. Loading the next question. <laughs> Refrain from selecting the image that does not match your personal preferences or likings. What, what? what does that mean? Wait, what? What does that mean? The lines of code. I don't think you understood what I was asking. No, I don't. But let's go on. Oh, this is gonna be a tricky one. Please indicate which one of the following patterns you consider the easiest to recognize. Um. Oh god, it's so far the away from the screen. Orange. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Just one thing before the final question, Miss Solana. If you lied to me with any of your answers, I will know. Sure, bro. Does subject 10392 clear text Trevor Hills mean anything to you? Oh, dear lord. No. No. No, it doesn't ring a bell. Isn't subject 10392 in your assigned citizen's grid? Oh, you mean that? Uh, yes, he is. Yeah, I thought, um... You thought what? Gotta keep talking. Hey, is everybody ready? Did you get some really good picks? <sighs> okay, folks. We're gonna regroup here for a second and wait for everyone to get back. That's it. We're finished. It's okay. been a really productive session. Sure. Uh, okay. D uh, did did I pass the test or? Yeah. What I do you will offer me? You again, as soon as I have verified the results, and I will be watching you, Miss Solano. Don't like that. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. Psst, whatever. As long as you have a badge with the right number, the more the merrier. We are leaving now. Into the bus, please. Oh. Okay, I'm back, Trevor. So, is everything all right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. What's that all about? Well, they suspect me now. I'm not sure if he busted me, but I don't know. We better haul ass, man. Yeah, yeah I yeah. don't know. <laughs> so, I guess it's Angela? Yeah, it is. Angela Solano. Hmm. The eee. truth is, I really outdid myself in concealing my identity. But once Trevor had heard my real voice and my real name, what sense did it make to keep using an alias? Okay, group six, please go ahead and get into the bus. 
Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, chapter two. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> uh, welcome to the Arcadia Central Station checkpoint. This is loud. Uh, as you know, after so many years of requests, Arcadia, the city of tomorrow, uh, is finally <sighs> opening to the regular public. This entrance behind me is not only the first of many access points for all our visitors, it is a gate to Utopia. Either by visiting its iconic landmarks or strolling through its magnificent avenues and parks, every visitor will now be a part of American Arcadia. And our brand new security measures will guarantee the well-being of our visitors and that of all the Arcadian-born citizens. We're making sure that they can safely enjoy the posthumous work of my brother, Elijah Walton. And we're hoping they take in all that this wonderful city suspended in time has to offer. Thank you. Uh, any questions? <clears throat> yes. Mr. Walton, is it true that these new security measures are related to the incident known as the Arcadia Six breakout? Um, uh, mm. <clears throat> I, uh... I, I won't be addressing any uh, questions related to unfounded rumors. So, uh, But I will be crystal clear about this. Nobody in his right mind would want to leave a city like Arcadia. Y you know what? The, the press conference is over. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, folks, we are finally here. This is the Arcadia Central Station. Uh, my name is Rita, and I was the stuff on today. screen the melody. Please have a safe trip home. We I think it was the see you again really doo -doo. soon in Arcadia. And I... remember, a positive review on your My Arcadia checkout form is really helpful to me. <laughs> well, here we are. So this is a new oh, section finally. of Arcadia. You're gonna make it. Yeah, looks like it. I'm a bit scared, to be honest. What am I gonna find out there, Angela? Oh well. uh... The world outside is not that different, just more modern and uglier. Yeah, maybe some Much people don't even want to leave the safety here, of Arcadia. Out there. You know, shared cars, cleaning bots, flying drones, we have all those. We also have something like Adenet, but with no restricted content, of course. What else? Um, we waste our lives looking at screens, but that's not too different from you guys, is it? Holy cow, if... They weren't planning to kill me. I'm not sure if there is even a reason Remember, to get out of here, the way you put it. Badge at there all is times. one really good reason to get out. You've lived Please all your life moving. inside a gilded cage. And for the first time, you're going to be completely free. Yeah, but that is a valid point. <laughs> Definitely. I'm sure someone who was like the popular guy. Everything was going fairly well, all things considered. I thought I was really close to getting out, but, of course, I didn't know about the jingle back then. The jingle? Do, 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 do. Do, you, do you hear that noise, by the way? It sounds like like an air raid Remember siren in the distance or something. It's all times. really annoying. Huh, no, I don't hear anything. Thank you for visiting really? Arcadia. It's pretty loud. Wait, do they have something don't built in that they can't Trevor. leave? Just get through the checkpoint and leave. Maybe it's one of their new Please security remember measures. remember that you are required to wear your access badge to exit through the checkpoint. Like they can't physically leave, maybe. Thank you for visiting Arcadia. Jesus, that sound is right, unbearable. Next, please. Keep going, Trevor. We're really close. You'll be in a train outside Arcadia in a few seconds. What if he's been microchipped? Yeah, something like I'm, that. I'm not feeling too well. Trevor? Trevor, come on, move. Maybe it's those speakers there. It was a nightmare. Take the worst headache and the worst dizziness you've ever had, smash them together, multiply them by ten, and you still wouldn't come close. Then the security guy says to me, Next, please. But I couldn't move. And if that wasn't enough, Angela says to me in the earpiece, Trevor, Trevor, come on, move. I can't take a step just can't. Are you feeling all right, sir? Yes. I just need a... 
Security, please, come immediately. Mm -hmm. We might have a breach at gate B in lane 15. And then I see a six foot tall guy with a menacing look come up to me and say, Oh, there he is. Subject 10392 Clear Text Trevor Hills. You are violating the Burbank Act. Title 2, Section 11. Unauthorized exit attempt from an enclosed or restricted area. No, 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 no. You are no, also Trevor, violating the Burbank Act. Get the hell Burbank out of there now. There's no use. I can't. Listen, if you can't move forward, then go back. But you got to move now. I can't. Trevor, do what I say, coño. 10392, stay right where you are. Subject 10392 is attempting escape. Initiate interception protocol. Interceptors, get the subject now. Time to I run. I can't believe it. Until then, interceptors were an urban legend. A high-tech security force in Arcadia with a really cool sci-fi code name. It all started with the infamous leaked Arcadia 6 picture, you know? That one that Walton Media has always denied to be true. The guy in the back was believed to be an interceptor. Most people just referred mm. to him as the Tackleberry because he looked like that guy from the Police Academy movies. You know, helmet, sunglasses, leather jacket, and all that. Terminator. Anyway, I had worked in Walton Media for eight years, and I never saw or heard a thing about those guys. As I said, it was just an urban legend. Until now. Because the Interceptors were real. And they really looked like Tackleberry. Here we and go. And they were chasing Trevor, who now had to run a 100-meter dash while feeling like complete shit. <laughs> Let's go! 10392! Stop running! I'm sure it'll get easier the further you get away from it. What? I'm feeling better! Ah. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling better. That's good news. Oh, hey, ah! Keep going. What? Ah. Huh. Yeah, speed! Am I gonna get back in the bus? Why do, why do these guys keep calling me a 10-3? It's 10 three something. It's your citizen ID. Ah. A what? This is no time for questions, damn it. Just run. Where are we gonna go? What are we gonna get to? Out of the way! Can't you see him running? Uh, uh. Over that van, Trevor, now! Over that van? I was pressing Y, but nothing happened. There we go. Over that fan, Trevor, now! Ha! Ha ha! Oh. Wait, where am I supposed to go? I do that. Then Over what? That fan, Trevor, now! Oh! Ah! Didn't even see that. What do I do? Back to the station! Go back to the station! Back to the station! Are you crazy? Just do what I tell you! She doesn't know either that that's in place. Interceptors, maintain pursuit. Yeah. What are we gonna do? With ten three ninety two. Subject is heading back to the station. Interceptor unit B. Proceed. Shit, they're coming from the escalators. Uh huh. Hey, I see the subject. Proceeding to intercept. But where am I gonna go? I'm gonna start feeling shitty again. Oh. oh, wrong one. Oh, oh, this one. Ah! I was like trying to turn it, but. It Shit, they're coming from the escalators. At least the checkpoints are quick. I see the subject. Proceeding to intercept. So do that, and then do that. And then do that. Where are we gonna go? Ooh, Ooh scary! Back, 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 no. back, back. Come on. <laughs> Don't let subject ten three eight push the boy. Where are we gonna go? What are we gonna do? Where are we gonna go? Tango pizza. Oh, I love pizza. Thank you. Stop running. Ten three ninety two is escaping through the roof. Get him. He's escaping. Need a car? Have it right now. Nice, dude. Nice. Down the slope. Down the slope. Uh, 
Oh, dear lord. Oh, god. Ah, oh, ah, oh, my god. What do I? How do I? Oh, god! <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Angela, Blue Fountain Mall is right there. I used to spend a lot of time in there when I was a kid. Mall? Are you sure that that's a... Looks like I don't have much of a choice anyway. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. Huh, <sighs> okay. That was scary. Crossing the road like that. Oh, it's loading the new area. Hey, help me with that door, Angela, would you? Yeah, you got it. What the? Trevor, shit! They blocked my computer. <gasps> I, I don't know what. They're onto I... her. Oh, hey, Jean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. I, I can't do a thing. What on Earth, what? Who are you talking to? Lockdown. Really? Uh, what happened? So they know it's coming from the building, okay, but not which computer. Lockdown. Yeah, I hope they'll tell us how to proceed. <laughs> Ah. Trevor, I need to go. I gotta find another place where I can connect and, and... Don't worry, Angela. Take your time. I'll be safe in the Skyrocket Arcade. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. You plan to hide inside an arcade? Not inside the arcade. They have a covered sit-down Spectrex cabinet there. That's where I plan to hide. Okay. I can play that thing for hours on just one quarter. Whatever suits you, man. I'm buying whatever you got right now. I'm at the Spectrex no cabinet. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine in here. Okay, Trevor, just stay inside the cabinet until I'm out of here. I'll be back as soon as I... Hey, Kendra, what's up? This is a message for all Walton Media employees. Due to an unexpected breach of security, we have proceeded to activate the lockdown protocol. Mm. When called by your last name, please come immediately to the building entrance for all your digital devices to be scanned for security reasons. Uh-oh, I hope hey, you have a backup it? phone. Yeah, someone's escaping from Arcadia. That's, that's really crazy. And an insider is helping him, one of us. Mm -hmm. They get the chance to work for Walton Media in the greatest achievement that has ever happened in entertainment. And they want to boycott it because uh, why? Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, the other things Walton did are okay, but between you and me, Angela, black and white movies, cartoons for kids, but American Arcadia? There is nothing like it. Others have tried to replicate it to create something like this. They got reality shows instead. But this is no reality show, Angela. American Arcadia is the most advanced sociological experiment ever conducted. It has changed the way we perceive society and even... <laughs> is everything okay? Huh? Uh, yes, it's... <sighs> I really have to get going, Kendra. I hope everything is solved by tomorrow morning. You know, right? Okay. See ya. <laughs> Dios, cállate la boca ya. She was repeating the same corporate bullshit she gave me on the first day on the twenty-first floor. What was okay, that? Preserve my admin permissions. Preserve what was that my she said? Permissions. Jesus H Christ, how am I gonna do that? All cloud services will be monitored, so I can't upload it to the cloud. Okay. Uh, what else then? Come on, come on, come on, Angela. Think. Gotta come up with something. And suddenly, that Architects of Tomorrow episode just pops into my head. Shut your mouth already. A word that comes from combining the Greek term steganos, which means covered or hidden, and graphos, which means writing. Let's take a look at this image behind me. You probably won't distinguish anything, but if we see the image through our red lens, 
everything in it suddenly makes sense. Hmm. And that's what steganography basically is. Concealing a message within another message, or, as we've just seen, an image in another image. There are many examples of how to hide a code in an image, a text, or even a song. Who knows? Maybe this song has a secret message encoded in it, too. Because, as you can see, steganography is science. And as we know, science always finds a way. I wonder if that will come back later. If you have a secret and don't want to reveal it, steganography can be used to conceal it. And that's the lesson we've learned today. Because science always finds a way. Because he got like, fired as well. I need to convert my admin permissions into hexadecimal code and then hide it in a non-digital source. A sequence of images. Hmm. I you say VHS so? VHS tape will do the trick. VHS tape. How are you gonna find that? I like doing this with mouse and keyboard, but then... Karsten Sab. Please exit through the lobby door. Studio. Huh. There must be a way to enter the editing room from the other side. Yeah, through the studio. This is the video editing room. I gotta get in there to encrypt my cell phone data. There's no one here anyway, can't you just... The first two letters in our ID indicate our first and last names. Mine is A.S. They're calling the S's now. E.B. 21 blah blah must be long gone for sure. Okay. Hmm. But I can't get in here either, right? Uh, who is this guy? I barely know any employees on the first floor. It doesn't matter anyway. This guy's last name begins with a D. I'm sure he's not in the building anymore. So how do we get in? Oh, storage room. There's a vent. But how do we... Whoa, ZW. I bet this guy will be the last exit the building. Maybe he's in the cafeteria, waiting to be called. Okay, so we need to go find him. Okay, glasses, red hair. Good, good. Now I need to find Zeus Washington, Zeke Wasabi, or whatever this guy is. <laughs> Zeke Wasabi. <laughs> for you in the lobby exit. Hello? No? Is that him? Let me clone your ID real quick. And it's done. I'm not proud about doing this to Walter, my co-worker, but I really needed your credentials. Zazu, Waluigi. <laughs> Schneider. Zazu go to the lobby exit. There we go. How Ooh. do I get to the video room? Whoever's in charge of keeping this area clear is doing an awful job. There should be a vent here somewhere. Jeez, this is a maze. Jeez, this looks like a damn maze. <laughs> I hate mazes. I just said that. Hmm. Wait, but wasn't this a dead end? Yeah. Can we go? Oh. Uh huh. Um. Seymour. There's the vents. Seymour. Seymour, very funny. Who's the wise ass? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I hope this works. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize, Mr. Seymour. <laughs> Rakim Sharp, come to the lobby exit. 
This is a small recording studio for AA short stories and things like that. Not for the live feeds, of course. Lady Vivian would never lower herself to come down from her spire penthouse to record on here. Um, you need a tape? Okay, this Comet VHS will do the trick. Mira, está en español y todo. What was she saying? Did she say it was in Spanish? So, let's get down to business. The blue screen shows the Comet tape digital data. Uh, and the large monitor displays the admin permissions on my cell phone, which I need to hide. So, I need to find the matching cell strings on both screens, and then run a macro to hide my data inside the VHS tape. Uh, okay. Those match. That one doesn't. Wait, hold to select? Maybe I should hold it. Oh, I see. So do that. Oh, okay. So I didn't make a mistake yet. That's good. Um, there were some here. Anything else? Select strings. Oh, there. It says it there. Oh, so is it... It doesn't have to be in the same place. It's just the same string, maybe? No, that's red. B63F74. Ah, I think the order needs to match. Like that. This is 32. Oh, down like that. Ooh, okay, that works as well. Okay. 5095C. Oh. Wait, how does that one not work? This works. But this one doesn't. 8D1FD5. Do we have a CE and a BD? Yes. Yeah, see, that works. But this one doesn't. I don't understand. <laughs> At AD. Oh, I see. I didn't see the A. Oh, so there was more to the string. I see. F4, 13, F1. Ah. Ah. Okay, okay. That's why it didn't work. Yes, 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 yes. I got it. Oh. Now I'll run a macro to automatize the process and encrypt all my data into the VHS tape. Now I can totally wipe everything for myself. See you at home, admin permission. Huh. Is she following me or what? What a pain in the ass. Hi. What are you doing in here, Angela? Oh, yes, Kendra. Nothing, I'm leaving. <sighs> and what are you carrying there? Angela Solano, please. We're waiting for you in the lobby exit. Oh, sorry, they're calling me. I have to go. Talk to you later, okay? You could have just said that you wanted to watch one of your videos. Solano, please. I hope they check the video. Where do I need to come to? Hey, Angela. ¿Qué pasó? What took you so long? <laughs> oh, I had to finish something, Joe. Es mi turno, ¿verdad? Bueno, claro que es tu turno. I called you twice. Put your phone in there and just go home, for Christ's sake. Okay, looks like you're good to go, Angela. Everything is clean. Angela. Hey, but what's up with the VHS tape, eh? You have all those comet shorts on the W Max platforms. Ah, well, doblaje Puerto Rican original. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's right. Can't beat the original. They redubbed it. A rights dispute with the voice actor, wasn't it? Yes. Wow, yeah, that's right, Joe. <laughs> bueno, te veo el lunes, ¿sí? Of course. Get some rest and see you next Monday, Angela. Whew. Speak so quickly. And then I went home to have a heart attack. Which took me a while, since I lived in the far side of Walton employee housing facilities. In fact, I thought about moving closer to the dome for the whole Trevor operation. But come to think of it, living so far away saved me a lot of trouble later. Hmm. But I digress. The thing is, I finally got to my apartment. Welcome home, Angela Solano. Oh, kitty! 
at last. Now I need to convert Hi. the video info back to code again to recover my admin permissions. <laughs> Little ahead. And check on Trevor too. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Kovacs, this is number six. Did you manage to preserve your admin Shut up! I stuck to the plan. I did everything you told me. And you... What the hell happened at the checkpoint? <gasps> Cookies. The jingle happened. The jingle? What? what? What on earth is the jingle? Something Kovacs mentioned a long time ago. The real Arpad Kovacs. Mr. Kovacs, were the discrepancies between you and Don Walton the main reason for your departure from Walton Media? Kind of. Donald and the board of directors were interested in developing methods to make it physically impossible for the Arcadians to leave the city. They even wanted to experiment with my Visiorama system for their realignment techniques, as they called them, which I categorically refused to let them do. Probably that refusal had something to do with my departure from the company. What did these techniques consist of? The most popular was a low-frequency sound to generate reverse aversion in the Arcadians. They called it the jingle. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Kovacs, but that sounds a little bit like science fiction to me. And even if it were possible, wouldn't that be illegal? With the Burbank Act? I doubt it. Huh. Otherwise, how do you explain that nobody has left the city since the Arcadia 6 breakout? Hmm. How come you guys didn't know about the jingle? Because it did not exist when we got out. <sighs> Damn it. If Trevor has that jingle thing in his head, how are we going to get him out? Remember I asked you to preserve your admin permissions? You did that, right? You are going to need them to operate one of those rental cars that some tourists use. Rental car? You mean like a Swift? Yes. Now get him on the road in one of those cars, and as soon as Trevor hears that noise again... I take control of the car and get him across it, right? That is it. Hmm. Whew. Easier said than done, but I'll try my best. Good luck, Kovacs. We are counting on you. I wonder if they had the tower stick out for some reason, for like... Maybe that's doing something. All Walton employee housing have gorgeous views of the Arcadia Dome. Quite a perk, huh? Because she was just like, it's so tall that it sticks out of the dome, but maybe it needs to stick out to transmit something. If I keep up this crappy high sugar diet, I should be able to develop... Oh. Oh. Develop type D. Type D. Type 2 diabetes. Type D 2 diabetes. In no time. A poster of the Arcadia 6 incident. The interceptor is visible in the background here. The Arcadia stage technician manual. When I started working at AA, I was expecting a wiki, not a medieval tome. <laughs> a wiki, yeah. Oh. Our Trevor Escape Master Plan, co-developed with Breakout itself. Can't draw birds. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Trevor is free! Ta-da! <laughs> the Evolution of Cooperation by Robert Axelrod. My collection of masks of the Golden Century comics. <laughs> All 212 issues. That's a lot oh, of issues. The complete DPD series. Cop drama meets urban fantasy. <laughs> My D -tiny. lucky dice. <laughs> the classic goblins and gravestones. Five goblins and gravestones basic rule set. <laughs> That's funny. Dungeon and Dragons. My collection of tabletop RPGs keeps growing, and I still haven't played half of these games. Hmm. Ain't that just the way? How's Kitty doing? ¿Quién es la más linda? Eh? Eres tú la más linda. Linda? Cute. After I was moved to the 21st floor to work in AA, Breakout contacted me and handed me this pamphlet. Hmm. Should you leave all this incriminating evidence in your apartment, though? One of though? these days, I will get around to tidying up my apartment. I swear it. I just left a glass here to wash it later, and somehow it mutated into this. I picked the wrong week to stop Pizza. eating junk food. It's kind of depressing to realize your cat has a healthier diet than you do. <laughs> Always squeaky clean. I wouldn't like to inconvenience the lady of the house. Breakout sent me this dossier about what was really happening inside Arcadia. 
It was revealing. Poor Gus Rainey. He's probably pushing up daisies now. Edge Travel Grant is a deceptive program devised by Walton Media to further manipulate the Arcadia-born citizens. Under the guise of a scholarship, the grant is being assigned to the least popular citizens. This results in their removal from the city, effectively eliminating them from the show. Furthermore, once individuals are removed from the city, they are never seen or heard from again, neither inside or outside the show. We fear that Walton Media might have crossed an even worse boundary than before. So far, four individuals have been targeted and removed through the Edge Travel Grant initiative. We have reason to believe that a fifth citizen, Augustus Rainey, that was uh, Trevor's colleague, right? Is next in line to be removed. Unfortunately, it's too late for Mr. Rainey as his removal is scheduled for tomorrow. But our calculations based on popularity ratings and track camera view rate, radies points uh, to Trevor radies points to Trevor Hills as the subsequent target. As you may know, Hills is in your assigned citizen network. Your mission is now focused on preventing him from falling victim to the Edge Travel Grant scheme. We trust your skills and resourcefulness to navigate his, this challenge and protect Trevor while working to expose Walton Media's deceitful actions. Hmm. Good luck, Agent Kovacs. Creepies. <laughs> Trevor sees himself on TV. Empty the server room. Do you want to... Our Pad Kovacs' autobiography. No rational explanation. A strictly forbidden read according to all Walton Media employee regulations. I look so happy in this picture of my first mm. day in Walton Media. Ah, ignorance ah. is bliss. There it is. Gotta get my phone back. I'm back. Get out of the cabin. We are good to go. Okay, one second. Yeah, TCH is back on top, baby. <laughs> TCH. My high score initials. TCH. Trevor Clarence Hills. <laughs> Your middle name is Clarence? Yes, ma'am. Like the angel in It's a Wonderful Life. Dear George, remember, no man is a failure who has friends. <laughs> Fine. <gasps> Trevor Clarence. Listen, we're going to- Wait, wait, are, are you sure nobody's looking for me in here? You're completely unknown in this city. Let's take advantage of that, shall we? Hmm. Famous last words. <laughs> My fellow citizens, oh. pay close attention to the man You need to go shopping. This is 28-year-old Trevor Shave Mills. that mustache. What on earth? A resident of the Point Siena Drive District. This man is responsible for a serious incident that occurred today at 4.30 p.m. in the Arcadia Central Station. Lie number one. The serious incident in the Arcadia Central Station was me running for my life. Hills is a severely unstable individual <laughs> and may represent a threat not only to himself, but to every other citizen of or visitor to Arcadia. Lie number two. I'm not severely unstable, or, or at least I wasn't unstable at that time. And look at me, for God's sake, who could I possibly represent a threat to? If you see this individual, please immediately report him to local authorities. We wouldn't resort to these extreme measures if it weren't absolutely necessary. But our priority is to ensure the well-being and safety of everyone in Arcadia. <laughs> and that makes three lies in a row. She couldn't care less about our safety. That was exactly the reason why I was running. Vivian has declared that she made that statement to, and I quote, ensure Mr. Hill's physical well-being. What? Oh, of course. She described me as if I were the next Jack the Ripper to ensure my physical well-being. Give me a break. Oh my god, I'm Arcadia's public enemy number one! For now, make sure you're not seen. Damn, it's the Beastie Boys again. <laughs> oh. to get that I was hoping I could like cut by them to go up, but... So do I run the other way? Damn, it's the Beastie Boys again. They've sent the interceptors to 
get that wimpy guy? Oh, I wait yeah. here. That wimpy guy has given us the slip a couple of times now. Told you they were gonna call in the cavalry. So why isn't the Robocop army here in the mall? Yeah, they look too sci-fi for the average citizen. Robocop army. What did I do to that horrible woman? She hates my guts! I told you evil bitch suited her better. Hexagon, any news about hills? Uh -oh. Yes, we got Hey, hey! Right there! It's Trevor Hills! Send a drone! Oh, oh. that just kills me immediately. I was like, they can't get me. Wait Hexagon. here. Any news about Hills? Yes, we got all exits cut. He's not getting out of the mall. We'll play the warning on Bay. Hey! Hexagon, elevator has stopped. Reset now. Oh, maybe if I put them right behind here. Right there. Oh. How are you seeing me? I thought I blocked their view. Yes, we got that must be it, yeah. Covered. He's not getting out of the mall. Hey, hey! Hexagon, elevator has stopped. Reset now. Reset the elevator, damn it! Okay. Uh, you gotta try not to be recognized somehow. Yay, time for new clothes. Are you gonna grab something? Uh, grab those clothes, Trevor. Hey, you look just like Steven Spielberg. Yeah, I don't know who that is. <laughs> do you think this will do the trick? Let's hope so. Uh, is, are there tags on it? You can't just walk out with them. I guess you can't pay for them either. <laughs> Say, isn't that nah? Doesn't fit the description. Oh uh, yeah. That guy looks like Steven Spielberg. <laughs> good, good. Nobody is paying attention to you now. Whew, that's a relief. Okay, Angela, what's the plan now? Oh right, yeah, I forgot to tell you. Okay, plan B. Aren't mm -hmm. we already at C? Whatever. We need to get yeah. you into a rental car. Rental car? You mean like a Swift? You know I won't be able to drive if I hear those noises, right? Don't worry about it. As soon as you hear them, just let me know and I'll do the driving. Remotely. And what about after that? You slip through the dome's exit and congratulations, you're a free man. The dome? Okay. What on earth is the dome? Ah, oh, so they oh, can't wait, see it yes. at all. I'm about to discover another one of Arcadia's intricate lies, right? Sort of. Your attention, please. This is a message from Arcadia Security Forces. We believe the fugitive Trevor Hills may be inside this premises. Oh, man. This building is in complete lockdown. Refrain from leaving the Blue Fountain Mall until further notice. Thank mm. you. This constant jumping from the frying pan into the fire is exhausting! Get inside the parking garage, Trevor. I'll figure something out. Okay. Oh, look! They have a droid docking station there. I know I'm always asking, what is that? But what is that? A docking station allows a qualified stage technician with admin permissions to control and or manipulate whatever automated personnel is attached to it. Now I can control that droid would have been enough for me. Uh, so we're doing it at the same time. This is so weird. Okay. <laughs> smooth, smooth. Here we are. This is the Swift car pickup area. Look at the charge status screen. We need a full battery to get to the edge of the dome. So the top Looks star? Like the one in the top right seems to be the only one with a full battery. Good. Then take that one and let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that car on the end! Oh, what? I'm up Something there. Wrong with that red car? It's not a red car, Angela. It's a Sunlight Chrome Rush 166M. The most perfect work of engineering ever designed. And my favorite car. 
Okay, I need to... All cars look alike to me. Uh, stay there while I bring your perfect work of engineering to you. I need to make space, right? How am I gonna do that? Because they... This one won't fit here, right? No. <laughs> Tiny car. Oh wait, and I can't move any of the other cars. Oh. Okay. I think if I put this one here... I can probably stow that little yellow one. Uh... The other side. How do I switch that? Oh! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Angela, ah. didn't you say this car didn't have enough battery to reach I'm the working road? on it. I know, I know, I know, but I need to. Let me handle oh. this, okay? Here it goes. And then we can put that one there. Put this one on this. Take it back up. Now the green car can go here. Okay. There. Oh my, look at this uh, sweet. How are you gonna drive this car out Shining of here? Shining aerodynamic lines. A masterpiece of craftsmanship that combines- I hate to interrupt your beautiful love story with an inanimate object, but we'd better get a move on. Sheesh. Fine. Sheesh! Get going. Uh, ah. Angela, Yes? Can you tell me a little about that dome you mentioned earlier? Oh, yeah. That. I gotta get a little story. Live from the Arcadia Dome, I'm your host, Vivian Walton, and this is American Arcadia. Wow. Whew, oh my, oh my, looks like a storm is gathering. And no, I'm not talking about the three-day blizzard that the weathermen have predicted. Here in Arcadia, we're safe from all of that inside our precious weather-controlling dome. This is Thanks loud, yeah. That, Grandpa Elijah. What I'm talking about is something that some of you Tiffanyers might already know. If you were one of the 2.6 million viewers who yesterday watched the passionate stolen kiss between supermodel Tiffany Amber Gaines and, oh boy, Steve Just's best friend, Logan Krakowski. I guess that explains the argument they had last Sunday during the Adams game, huh? My Nasty Remark of the Week award goes to user AppleSphinx91, who posted, No wonder why Tiffany broke up with him. There's only one person Steve Just could actually fall in love with, and that is himself. Woohoo, that burns. The polls are on fire. 34% believe Tiffany had every reason to give Steve the My boot. God. But look at this, 58% and rising are in favor of the Tiffany Logan romance. Log in to your AA Live app now and let us know your thoughts. But we can't forget our loyal justifiers who are supporting their idol Steve Just and think that Tiffany and Logan's relationship is simply going nowhere. <laughs> wow, Everything great okay, transition. Sir? How's the car battery? Good, good, still full. This is going smooth as silk. At this pace, we'll reach the dome exit in no time. Let's hope so. Mind if I tune to a little music? Not at all. And you're listening to WABC hits. I can like stop and go faster. The clock. This is DJ Zoom, with the cream of the crop, only Stella, out of sight, number one hits, baby. And the music just keeps coming in this hot Friday afternoon. Ah, <sighs> much better. Yeah, so this they can't even girl, see the dome. So big. Oh, come on, Angela. What? I had nothing to do with it this time, I swear. God, what have I done to deserve this torture? The song is everywhere. Enough already. Everybody loves Merle, man. Don't be a fool as a hit. Inside and outside are... 
Shit, 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 shit! What? I can see five interceptor cars, and they're heading straight to the Arcadia Dome. Wait, you think they're coming after me? It's very likely. Uh, I have to think of something. Uh... Uh... Ay, bendito, now what? Oh, no. Yes? Hello, Angela, it's Kendra. Can I come up? Um, I'm a little tied up right now, Kendra. I... Don't worry, it won't be long. I'm coming up. Ay, pero que quiero ahora? Can you, uh... Angela. Oh, Kendra, Erase that. to my apartment, and there's, like, a ton of incriminating material in here. Hey, who's Kendra? My stupid Dude, boss. Dude, hurry She's up. coming up. What do I do? Get rid of any compromising material, Angela. I'll help you think from here. <laughs> These that. breakout pamphlets won't look good if Kendra finds them. This. Oh my god. Um. Uh. 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 Hey, corporate things like, I don't know, anti-Arcadia propaganda. Okay. Angela. Okay. Doesn't a computer always <laughs> take an eternity <laughs> to shut down? I'd do that first if I were you. Oh god. Um. Close that. Angela. Uh, oh no, all the post-its. Info about Gus and all that. You don't have that lying around. This is house. taking forever. Angela. Oh my god. That's what I was saying. Why would you leave so much evidence in your apartment? I can hear you in there, Angela. Oh, it's gonna take me forever Angela, to get rid of these sticky notes. Yeah. Can cover it all up somehow. Can I? Open it now. Door lock override. <sighs> Opening door. Hey, Kendra. Oh, I should have just put the blinds here? down. Well, all supervisors have access to their employees' Shit, apartments. I can't do anything else. Just Shit, in I can't case. do anything else. She's gonna Why see didn't me. you open the door? I thought something happened to you. Uh, I was going to, but you were faster. Do you mind if I take a look around? Around my apartment? Yeah, it'll just be a second. Uh, okay, I guess. Suit yourself. Kind of rude, hey, but... Hey, what's that in the window? Spotted it immediately, huh? Leaving all the evidence in plain sight. Clever. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Yeah. I should have just done the blinds. Angela, does okay, wait. the computer always take an eternity to shut down? I'd do that first if I were you. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, do that. You talked about that group you work for. Breakout? Is there something in your house that would Much faster this way. Okay. Angela! You showed me things. Info about Gus and all that? Um, you don't have that lying around your house, Angela? do you? I'll be up to my ass in trouble if Kendra sees this breakout dossier. Um, I think that might be it. I think so. Let's see. I can hear you in there, Angela. Hi. Hi, Kendra. What happened? Is everything okay? Yeah, I just need to check some things. Do you mind if I take a look around? Around my apartment? Yeah, it'll just be a second. Let's see it. Uh, okay, I guess. Suit yourself. Okay. So far, so good. You like my cat stuff? Uh, that's no problem. Well, your apartment isn't as cluttered as your office. It still has your personal touch for chaos, though. Thank you, I think. You look nervous, Angela. Is everything okay? Uh, no, apart from my supervisor breaking into my apartment, uh, everything's hunky-dory. <laughs> this board has been erased recently. Oh, yeah, that's why they're called <laughs> dry erase boards. Because you can, you know, erase them? Hmm. <laughs> Don't go upstairs. Okay. I didn't even check upstairs. Okay. 
Are you worried? You don't okay. have anything to hide, do you? Uh, oh, that's no problem. Are we a little paranoid, Kendra? Well, I would certainly hope so. Tucker down. Your blinds are lowered. Yeah, sunset light bothers me. Nothing unusual here. Don't. Oh, look what we have. Oh, uh, I could have turned it None off. None other than Trevor Hills himself. Shit, I didn't know. Let's try again. Hi, ah. Kendra. What okay. happened? Is everything okay? Well, your apartment isn't as cluttered <laughs> as your office. <laughs> Oh, it still has your tail. touch for chaos, though. So Thank cute. You. I think. Is there anything wrong with your computer? Why is it off? We're in lockdown. Why do you want me to turn the computer on to beat my Minesweeper high score? <laughs> You've seen enough? Angela, please come Kendra, here. What is this all about? Let's lay our cards on the table. We're friends, right? Friends? Um, we are? If you were doing anything to harm Walton Media's reputation, I would be deemed directly responsible, and you wouldn't want that. So tell me, how is it possible that you had admin permissions today? Oh, I did? Uh, that's news to me. Uh, maybe poor Gene got it wrong. He's been under so much stress lately. But you could check the surveillance cameras if you doubt me. I didn't even go near the server room today. Mm-hmm. Huh. I have one more question, Angela. Answer it and be honest. Uh-oh. Are you the one helping Trevor Hills escape Arcadia? No, I am not. Have a nice evening, Kendra. Bye. Door locked. Fuera de mi casa. Sounds like everything went sort of okay, huh? <laughs> sort of. I owe you one, man. Wait. <laughs> You owe me? Come on, Angela. No, really. Thank you, Trevor. You're a good guy. Now the okay, well, highway chase. I am going back to my computer now. How's uh how's everything going on your side? Good, good. I think I'm reaching the suburb area. When you see the Adam Arena Stadium on your left, drive past it and take the next exit to the suburbs. Hey Angela, I was wondering. Here we go. How is it possible for the Arcadia set out of Adams to play against teams from the outside? See. Oh, all players are NPCs, non-protagonist characters. People who live inside Arcadia but are part of the show, uh, like Vivian. Next topic, connection with Arcadia-born citizens. Now, you've been given some plot points by the story team, but engagement is critical in here, specifically with the ones in your assigned network. Ordinary lives are not interesting by themselves. We gotta make sure that things. Ah, uh, so they send an NPC the people to find citizens, and in the end, for you too. To cause stuff to That's happen. That's what you, what we, are in here for. To be their shitty bosses, their rivals, their BFFs. Mm. It all depends. And who knows? Maybe even their spouses. <laughs> it's not common, but it has happened. Oh my god. I mean, I consider myself as the first NPC in Arcadia. Well, not actually the first one. I'm not that old. <laughs> but the thing is, the story team would never ask you to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. Huh. So if you ever wondered why everything goes well for the absolute jerks, egomaniacs, and obnoxious people in the city, now you know why. Well, that explains some things. I bet that Romano, my supervisor, is one of those. Could be. I don't know. I only have access to my assigned citizen grid. Hmm. But, you know, George Bernstein, your neighbor? He was in cahoots with the show from day one. Not Mr. Bernstein. I've known him since I was a kid. Yeah. I, I must have the full list of NPCs somewhere, so if you want, I can send it over. No, no, no. There's no need, really. You revealed quite enough of Arcadia's intricate lies for me today. Was my turtle hey, an NPC? <laughs> I'm beginning to hear that noise again. It's still distant, but... All right, all right. Uh, keep driving until you can't drive anymore. This is horrible. It's hard to describe how it sounds. 
Are we gonna crash? Uh, I, I can't. I, you have to. I, you have to do it. Uh, I'll take control now, Trevor. Don't worry. Look at that. Those things that look like comm towers. Whoa. Uh, I think I saw some at the checkpoint, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're definitely right. Must be transmitters or something. Damn. It's louder than it was at the checkpoint. I can hear it even if I cover my ears. Trevor, we, uh... Okay, now what if it blows his eardrums or something? Do not touch the steering wheel or the brakes, please. As if I could. It's hard for me to even blink. Oh, damn it. Oh, God, it's... They're tearing my brain apart! Almost through! Hold on. Hold on just a little longer, Trevor! Last one. Ah! Just kills him. We're almost there! We're almost there! How do you feel now? Like... I had the biggest damn magnet inside my head and someone was pulling on it. Oh. But I'm better. I, I feel better. Whew. You think you could drive now? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Smart idea. Good. Good. Okay. Let's get the hell out of, of here. Of uh, six and for all. from six. Finally, you're gonna make it. Don't say it. Don't say it, Angela. Last time you jinxed it. Ish. Okay. But you're out of the transmitter zone, so what could go wrong now? Yeah, it was really good voice acting. I've been acting, involved yeah. in high-speed pursuit for years. I'm not scared of it. I study the road layout, carefully cover all the exits, register everything in a 10-mile radius, and calculate every possibility. I can't afford myself to fail. Not while I'm on duty. Uh-oh, here we go. Stop the car immediately, or face the consequences. Son of a... The interceptors are here! I knew it! Jesus, I knew it! Here we go! Step on the gas! These guys are crazy! They're Ooh. gonna kill me! We're really close, Trevor, just a few miles ahead! They're pushing me off the road! No, 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 no! Ooh. Oh, that scream. We, we, we didn't see that crashing. Yeah, there's a lot you didn't see. Doesn't mean it didn't happen. Mm. See these wounds? Let's say I was lucky to survive a crash at 95 miles per hour. Damn. And that was only the first car crash of the weekend. <laughs> uh, yeah! Didn't we see this in a preview? Ow. Oh, Jesus. Start of the game. <sighs> Angela. Where am I? Angela? Angela! Are you there? I can't hear... Oh, damn it, I lost my earpiece. Uh-oh. I have to... I have to get out of here. Move, Trevor. Come on, move! Where are we gonna find a new earpiece? How is she gonna reach out to us? Oh, it's the highway in the back. Beautiful. Pretty game. I must be really close to the dome exit. I have to get out. Yeah, you're past the security checkpoint, but what if they just have another... a barrier in place? Like a second one, just in case. Sir, target is not in the car. I repeat, target is not in the car. Pathetic? How? Uh, huh. uh, Ooh. Son of... Oh, my back! Oh. I almost broke my back! Yeah, that uh. must have really hurt. Come on, Trevor. Come on, you gotta keep going. Here we go. Oh, jeez. He must oh, be so I'm tired. Covered in mud. And hungry. Area clear. Starting search on new coordinates. Okay, where do we go? Oh, I don't trust it. Ooh. It's 
so cool looking. I love all the blue. Oh! Okay. Be taken off my shoes. I guess, yeah, you could hang your shoes around your neck. That's true. Uh oh, car coming. Oh god, keep going. Go, 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 go. Don't mix, it's 31 to 35. This is right ahead. I'm going in the right direction. That's great. But they're gonna find you. Oh. And you hear me? Surrender. Oh my god. Dude's coming. Go, 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 go. That is so cool. Ah! Oh shit. Stop it. Go, go, go. Oh. We're getting closer. I hope. Turns out we're just going in the wrong direction. You're sending a damn helicopter to catch me? Really? Not so unpopular now, huh? Ah! Yeah, this is we saw this at the start. Stop running and surrender now. No, never okay. Yeah? Huh? You'll have to catch me first, you jerk! Okay. Subject in sight. Administering are shooting at me! Keep going. Could you please just leave me alone? Oh. Ah, I got shot. I can't believe it. These guys are shooting at me. At least a tranquilizer no rounds. Okay. Could you please just leave me alone? Go, go, go. Ah. Height. Okay. So it matters what Moving ways. Coming from. Wait, I can push this. <laughs> Ooh. I'm just an account manager. <laughs> Why are you shooting at me? Go, 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 go! You're just slow! Oh. Damn it. I made it so far. Oh, nice. Get up there. Go, 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 go! Oh! <sighs> Thank god I made it just to a checkpoint, though. That's nice. Okay, I gotta wait here. And then go. Okay. And I gotta wait here. Can't see me! Then I gotta wait here. Okay, go, 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 go. Oh, what's this? Ah! What did I do? What's this do? Oh, it drains the water. Wait here. No hit, I repeat, no oh, this hit. can't be happening to me. Go! Oh, oh man, good aim. I thought that would be too quick. 
And here. Gotta be patient. Yeah. Ooh, into the tunnel. Oh no! Go 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 go! Ah. Go 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 go! <laughs> ah yes. Safety. No, I'm outside again. No, I don't want it. Why would I stop now? I've come so far. Uh-oh. No, no. Damn it! No! Uh, where am I gonna go? Oh no. I'm gonna go back. Oh, it just keeps going! But I can't go back! Aww. What am I gonna do? I wonder if I can grab that. Oh, that board! Yeah! Oh! Oops. <laughs> I can pick up the board, I think. Here, that board. How do I... How do I grab it? Oh, I need to jump on it a couple times. What if I jump on it first time across? Oh, big brain! And then... Oof. Whoa! That was cool! Oh my god! That was close! You did it! Now... Where am I? Oh, is this an elevator thing? Hmm. Okay. Oh, come on. How do I get the... Oh, oh so I have, have to, get to get that cart all the way Somehow. to the other side. Okay, that one closes. Do it again. Ah, yes, there we go. Air package. Like the water temple. I I was saying to Sean yesterday, I was like, hmm, maybe I should play Ocarina of Time again. Kind of in the mood. He was like, you just played it. I'm like, hmm, you don't understand. <laughs> you can play special games as many times as you like. thing to reach the other side of this damn station. This poor dude, you need clean clothes. Uh. Oh, how do people even find their way around here? Although I doubt this spot of Arcadia attracts many visitors. I wonder if there's cameras around here. Uh. It is a I wonder though, like if you are breeding people to live in here. Why, w why wouldn't they all be microchipped so you can track their locations and stuff? <sighs> the dome exit must be ahead. I feel like they would know where I am at all times. Right? Uh, I can't jump on that. Yeah. 
Huh. There's like a if you're already lift in here. I could really literally use breeding people to control and or manipulate devices right now. I don't think microchipping them is a step too far. Like you've already way crossed that boundary. Maybe like here? I'm getting hungry. Oh. Perfect. Oh. Did that work? No. I was like, did it? Oh, I see what I have to do. I on the target. Oh, no. oh shit. Now. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna work. Well, how many people do you think we've unintentionally killed by now? Did anyone fall off the roof or anything? Maybe he's not dead. Maybe he just like broke a leg, you know. Or spine. He could be fine. He's for the Stop him. Do you Don't think it's I'm like so Truman close. Show? Like we're just gonna run into a glass wall and then... Well, not glass in Truman Show's case, but like... And you hit a wall. Yes, yes, yes! One mile? There. I made it, Angela! I finally made it! Yeah, the if people are watching this and it turns into like a success, then Running Man is just gonna happen. God, that must be the edge of the Arcadia Dome. They'll intentionally get people to escape to see how far they can push them. That looks so cool, by the way. Come on, come on! I can almost see the exit sign. Oh, but there's no. Oh, no, no! Oh my God! Look at this no cliff edge. Oh, what do I do now? There's a retractable bridge down there. The Angela were here. Damn it! Maybe she is watching. Maybe she just can't communicate with you. Oh shit! It's over, 10392. Don't do anything stupid. Just raise your hands and surrender. <sighs> okay, okay. I I give up. I've been dealing with dangerous individuals for my entire career. So my measures, extreme or not, are not up for discussion. That's the way I work, period. Hmm. If you are looking for a little tender, loving care, hire a babysitter. <laughs> but if you want to make sure that nobody leaves this city, I am your man. Hit him. What? Hey, no, I just saw it. Where are they going to take him? We got 10-392. We're the, core. Him to the core. Wait, am I going all the way to the we center of the dome? We all know and enjoy Arcadia's splendid temperature, thanks to its weather-controlled dome. But how does the dome get enough energy to generate this endless spring and its 43 square miles throughout the whole year? Well, that's exactly the function of the core power plant. Mm. In this station built inside the dome, 100% renewable and safe energy is extracted daily to supply the entire city with electricity, hot water, and other necessary resources. The core is the beating heart of the city of tomorrow. Do you think it's people and powering it? And to handle a beating heart, a thinking brain is required. And that is what the hexagon is for. A high-tech security building outside the Arcadia Dome, where every system that keeps the city functioning is carefully operated by technicians and engineers. The dome, the core, and the hexagon. The lungs, heart, and brain of Arcadia. What if the people who are retired are just, like, put to work in the core? Four hours after the car crash.
Jacob to the core. Ten three ninety two. Oh, look. Mr. Anderson. If it isn't the Arcadia Gestapo, what do you want with me now? With you? Nothing. To put me back in my clean clothes. What I need to know <laughs> is the name of your cooperator on the outside. So spit it out. Who is helping you? Nobody. I just went for a short stroll, but I got lost on the path of life. <laughs> oh, you think this is funny? You think I'm afraid to use more extreme measures with you? <gasps> there she is. That's enough. That's no way to treat a person. He's not a person. He's property. How dare. But your property in any case, Miss Walton. All yours. I'll be watching you, 10392. Hey, you're a poet and you didn't even know it. Jerk. <laughs> Trevor. First of all, I want to apologize for everything that's happened so far. This has been nothing but a terrible misunderstanding. I completely understand your position, and I I'm deeply sorry. She's faking we it. We should have managed things differently. It's a front. Oh, you mean, like when you said that I could be a threat to myself and other citizens? And you were. Look at the sorry state you're in. I was just trying to keep you from hurting yourself more. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. A likely story. Trevor, what do you know about Arcadia? I know that my whole life here is a lie. I know that Arcadia is nothing but a TV show, and I know that you kill people in here. Sadly, I can't argue with your first two statements, but... Trevor, nobody has been killed in here. Tell that to Gus. Hexagon, would you please show Augustus Rainey's house cam on the monitor in room 33? There he is. Gus has been living there for a couple of days now. What on earth? Hello, Gus. Everything all right? Hmm. Oh, hi, Vivian. Yeah, sure. Everything is just peachy here. Trevor's here with me. Would you say hello to him, please? What? Trevor, my man. Hi, Gus. You're next in line? A TV show, man. Who would have thought, huh? Hey, hmm. Gus, Trevor is in a little bit of shock, and I still have to explain the full process to him. I'll talk to you later, okay? Do you think oh, he's sure, AI sure. generated? Bye, Vivian. Trevor! See you soon, man. Uh... I, I, I saw the images. I, I saw Gus. What did you see exactly? Recording? Besides Gus leaving with two security guards. Come with me, please. I want to show you something. Hmm, I don't trust it. I'll be honest. AA ratings are slowly declining. The way he it's said Trevor yet, the same way when he said cost. goodbye. All Arcadia-born citizens require stage technicians, supervisors, camera tracking 24-7. In short, lots of money. And unpopular citizens, like you or Gus, are just not profitable. Mm -hmm. So we just need to retire you guys from the show but not the kind of retirement you're thinking of you see the arcadia edge isn't actually a travel grant but rather a relocation program mm -hmm. edge is our brand new housing community at the edge of the arcadia dome gus is living there now but of course we needed the travel grant thing so we could remove a few citizens without everybody in arcadia beginning to ask questions that's where we were going to take oh, you. Oh, so it's after like giving you a nice just outside the dome. package for all the inconvenience. But no, nobody told me that. You ran away when we were going to explain everything to you. Yeah, I don't I trust just, it. They told me I had to escape. Ah, uh, of course. I think she they... wants to get to me, so I will rat out. Listen, Trevor. The Arcadia Dome is a the major who's Angela, infrastructure who's helping under 24-7 me. surveillance, heavily guarded with multiple security measures. And only I can turn them down. So, the only way to escape from Arcadia is by pressing a fail-safe button in my penthouse at the top of the Arcadia Spire that only I have access to. She lives to. in the top? No matter what they have told you, that isn't happening, Trevor. Hmm. 
Is it now? So, I'm trapped in here. No, 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 this is not a prison. We can't keep you here against your will. Well, then let me but see the you world. you said that I can't get out. No, no, I said you can't escape. Of course you can get out. How am I... with those noises? I, I can barely move when I hear those things. Oh, you mean the realignment jingle. Realignment jingle. Yes. That is one of the security measures I mentioned. You've been conditioned to recognize an acoustic pattern to uh, provide you with an extreme sensation of well-being and comfort. You brainwashed me! Absolutely not! You were born with it, like any other Arcadian citizen in the last 30 years. And you've been hearing it throughout your whole life. Oh... The railway system. What on Earth? Anyway, long story short, we can remove the jingle from you. Mm. We'll just take you to a realignment booth and you'll be free of it in a matter of seconds. A realignment booth? They're gonna brainwash you. But first, we need you to comply with a few things. By signing this agreement here, you refused. Wait, 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 wait. You. Really think that I'm going to trust you blindly after everything you've done to me? You just told me that I've been a damn Pavlov's dog my whole life, and you expect me to let you guys scramble my brains again? No way! Screw that! I know Good this job, is not Trevor. an easy decision, Trevor, but I have not told you a single lie. They, on the other hand, cannot say the same thing. Mm, I don't know about time, that. Okay, whenever you're ready. Look, I know you can hear me. I'm not even going to read this piece of crap. <laughs> Forget about it. I'm not doing it. You hear me? Let me out of here. Let me out! I'm not signing this. No way. Are they just going to let him starve now? Hey, is anybody there? Are you really gonna let me rot in here? You can't keep me in here forever. You must be so hungry. While well, he's reading it. Specifically agrees to not discuss the show interference. I don't know how much time I spent locked up in there. Probably wasn't more than a couple of hours, but it felt Caved. like an eternity. I was physically and mentally exhausted from the escape. I had wounds all over my body, and I was still absorbing the harsh truth about my life. So everything came crashing down on me at that moment. I was determined to sign and get it over with. Hmm. Probably wants to get back to his easier life. There's the song. These guys are crazy. They're gonna kill me. Oh, we're gonna see Angela's side. I'm ready. It's been almost two hours, and I still don't know where Trevor is. Oh, it's snowing. Oh. Been switching through the closed circuit television and I can't find him anywhere. Okay. What do you want to do? You want to leave? Nope. And where am I supposed to go? I have to think of something. Hmm. This is not the right time for this. <laughs> oh shit, my phone. phone? Number six, finally! What happened with Trevor? Where is he? They, they, they pushed him off the road, they- Turn on the TV. What are you talking about? We need to get- to Trust me, Kovacs. Remote? Turn the TV on. Ah. Is now on the run in the popular TV show, American Arcadia. According <gasps> to his biography- He's alive! <laughs> He's alive! Oh, thank God! Uh, who leaked this? Was it us? 
Of course it was us, Kovacs. They wanted Trevor to be known, fine. Now everybody knows him inside and outside Arcadia. That's why she has to change it, because now if they he gets if missing, goes missing. There must be a way to find him. Maybe, but we would need to access the hexagon. I can sneak inside. Uh, maybe I can track Trevor from there and then go to... Do not even think about it, Kovax. The hexagon is not like any other Walton Media building. We are talking about the nerve center of Arcadia. We are talking about insane security measures. We are talking about... I'm gonna do it. With or without your help, number six. <sighs> okay, fine. But I will be with you, guiding you through the entire process. Copy? Copy that. And if something goes wrong, remember... You do not know us. You have never heard of us. Spare me the lecture. I knew what I signed up for when I joined Breakout. So, yeah. Going to the Hexagon was my idea. Well, kind of. And even today, I still wonder if that was a bold move or a stupid move. <laughs> Probably a bit of both, all things considered. What if the person she's oh, calling with is the, is by the science dude that got <sighs> fired? Out here. Do you read me, Kovax? Uh, with a little bit of static due to my old headphones, but I can hear you. Good. Now, listen carefully. You are in front of one of the back entrances to the hexagon. The staff here use a special secure digital... The turtle is number six. <laughs> you will find one in the back alley inside a metallic box. Metallic box? My access level isn't high enough to get in here. Just something hidden here? Hey, it's uh, the Arcadia 6 sign! With all your names written on it! Hmm. That must be it. How did you manage to get your hands on this card? That was a combination of social engineering, months of decrypting code, and a bit of pure luck. Hmm. We were saving it for a special occasion, but what better day than today? I wonder what Trevor will think of snow. Since it's always spring where he is. He doesn't even know seasons exist. There are different levels of access here at the hexagon, all named for geometric shapes. Your SD card grants you access to only the basic level, the triangle. You will not get too ah, far. Ah, triangle, that. square. So how am I going to find Trevor's location then? We have added some extras to your SD card. One of them is some homebrew software that can be used to reverse engineer level access devices. Nice. Well, I can get in here. Now let's have a look around, huh? S O A R. Soar? Soar. Mm -hmm. Like in Walton's motto, soar higher than ever before. Yeah, it's an acronym of the four different areas of this building security, operations, Arcadia control grid, and realignment, whatever that is. Mm. Anyway, we should focus on finding realignment for now. The Arcadia control grid sounds like the place to geolocate him. Yeah, you're right. Okay, where are we? Must be in this first big one, so we just go straight through. Yeah. If we can. Huh. <sighs> Looks like Apparently the building's the empty. Control grid is right you said there. They were and Arcadia there's just a hallway, no door. Only skeleton crew. Do not go in there That's yet, Kovacs. Kovacs. It cannot be that easy. Oops, sorry. Okay, don't want me to go in there. Then, operations. Oh, everyone knows who he is now. Oh, I don't have that one. I have to raise my access level to enter this door. Okay. How about security then? Yes. You would think security would be the hardest one to get into, but... I see a machine on the other side of this glass. I believe it has a rhombus symbol on it. Must be an rhombus. access level device. Make sure you get there. Copy. Rhombus. 
Do you like me a rumbus? Oh, hello. Uh, my phone is vibrating. Remember, I mentioned those extras we added to your SD card. That is a proximity sensor <gasps> detector. This tool works like a like a Geiger counter. Whenever you are close to a proximity oh. sensor, that bar will rise. So tread lightly. And if you see that red bar rising, you would better move back. Okay. So are there other people? Ooh. Okay. What does it do exactly? Okay, I don't get what it's detecting, but... I see a vent, so I'm gonna go for it. Oh, damn it. Do I really have to get inside that vent? Looks like it. Like, it's such a... a bad thing to do. But it's not that hard. I can't look at my phone in here. How the hell am I gonna avoid those sensors? Try to guide yourself with the sound, Kovacs. Okay. Gotta pay attention. This way it is. Okay, so far so good. Nice. I don't see any cameras in here. Weird. And you will not see them. Attention, all security oh. personnel. That went up so quick. Jeez. I don't see any cameras in here. Weird. And you will not see them. Our intel says they do Wait. not have cameras in the hexagon. We do not know the reason for this. One comes to mind. Whatever they're doing in here, Walton Media does not want it on record in any way. I hadn't thought of that. Uh, could be. Okay. Huh. Okay. I think that seems to work is if something happens, just take a hard turn. Oh, dear lord. Do I have to make it all the way across? Easy now, Kovacs. Dot the I's and cross the T's. Almost there. What? Th that door has a timer? <sighs> oh, I can't believe it. I gotta go back. What kind of moron puts a timer on an automatic door? Well, Kovacs, every automatic door has a timer. Hmm. Okay. I kind of remember it. Okay, plant. We're gonna take a left at the plant. And another plant, and then a little bit here, and a little bit there. Yay! Uh, finally! <laughs> I did it, baby. Mm, yes, numbers, numbers, stocks, stocks. Got it. Oh, fruit. <gasps> Burger! Wait, but then what now? First, oh, that's the machine. <laughs> Oops. Got it. Now you will have to manually transfer the permission info from the machine to your phone. Sounds easy, but how do I do that? You have to press buttons <laughs> to swap the positions of the two geometric shapes. It is not that difficult. Uh, 
okay. Okay. You will make it eventually. Do not get nervous. Access level upgraded. New level wrong. Vivian Walton surprised Rubbish. everyone a few hours ago with this live statement following the leak of images of one of its citizens fleeing the show. Oh, I have to admit, I'm enjoying doing my bit to wipe that creepy smile off her face. In light of the dissemination of the unauthorized images of the citizen of Arcadia, Trevor Hills, Walton Media feels compelled to issue this statement. We categorically deny all information that has been made public about the circumstances surrounding Trevor Hills' so-called escape. Such information, which is clearly intended to damage Walton Media's good reputation, lacks the slightest hint of veracity. Walton Media and the American Arcadia team have taken every measure to ensure Mr. Hill's physical well-being. <laughs> Tomorrow at 8 p.m., there will be an official live appearance clarifying everything that happened regarding the behavior of our citizen. Oh. This appearance will include the testimony of Trevor Hills himself. Thank you. Wait. Trevor Hills himself? W what is she planning? To wipe his brain clean? You can expect anything from mm. Vivian. I detest her, but I have to admit that wretched woman is shrewd and cunning. Shrewd. Hold on a second. Number six? What's happening? Damn it, guys, they're down here. We need to go now! Oh. Kovacs, they found us. What? Who? Walton Media's goons, of course. They must be tracking us somehow. Everybody gear up because we are out in five! Listen, we have to go now. I will get in touch with you again as soon as we reach a safe spot. Okay, okay. Kovacs, find Trevor and get him out. Guys, make sure we leave no trail behind us. From now on, you are on your own. We are counting on you. Nice. Stay safe, number six. And good luck. He showed me the ropes. Kovacs. And now I know what to do. Cool, cool, cool. What a good game. Very cool, diverse gameplay. Okay, that's our next one that we need to get. Is there any motion sensors? I'll be damned. I'm on my own. I'm literally scared shitless. Okay, not literally. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. What if six is all fake and Angela's manipulated just for the show? Looks like I got inside the Walton Media Illuminati meeting. Like she doesn't know that she's being Hello, manipulated my as an American actress. Arcadia teammates. It is so good to see all of you here. Oh, the little Hello. man! Hello, Vivian. Instead of bringing the scanner to the beeb, the beeb has come to the scanner. <laughs> I did scan him earlier, but I was I was thinking of maybe going to see him. He came all the way up, all oh, the way. Oh, he's a ten. Perfect. He's a ten, but he got diabetes. <laughs> you want to stay in the chair for a bit? I want to pee. Is this American Arcadia still? Yeah. Say hi, beeb. He's a purring little man today. He's also a face licker. Wave to the people. Hi, people. No, not me. What a bunch of cuties. Okay. Let's see. First of all, we know that whatever happens tomorrow is going to be crucial to the future of Walton Media and American Arcadia. So, my thanks and appreciation to every single one of you for your commitment. No, thank you, Vivian. Pathetic. <laughs> You're Pathetic. too kind, Kendra. I oh, there she you. is. On a different note, I've talked with Trevor and I'm convinced he'll come to his senses. Sooner than later, I hope. And once he signs, we'll bring him to a realignment booth and everything will be ready. Realignment booth? Mm -hmm. Until then, let's stay in high spirits with a positive attitude and everything will go smoothly. Am I right or am I right? Of course, Vivian! 
See you tomorrow then. Damn it. And remember, Number teamwork six was makes right. the dream work. I don't know what a realignment booth is, but it reeks of brainwashing. Boy, super nice. Ugh. Ugh. Vivian really Wait is the evil the bitch supreme. I better hurry and find that access machine thingy before Trevor signs anything. Hopefully no one's in the hallway. Kendra would be very surprised if she saw you right now. The access level device is right there. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's getting more complicated. Hey, this device works differently. So what do I need to do now? Oh. Oh, I always have a hard time with these. Yeah, because I can't move them back. Okay. But that would mean that now I can't. Yeah. Oh, poopy. Like, how do I do that? Damn it, what, what the? I need to keep them one by one, right? But then, like, this is already... How do you do that? I think I messed it up, but I'm getting closer. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Maybe I just move this one? I think I got it. Oh, okay. New level, Pentagon. No, 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 no. I don't want to touch anything in here besides what's strictly necessary. Okay. Keep thinking. Shit. Oh, I was just gonna say it. I'm telling you, he might look like he's eighty, but this guy runs as if his life depended on it. Well, that kind of makes sense. All night long, playing hide and seek in the wetlands. Quietly. Dan broke a leg chasing that asshole. Really? Okay. Kovacs, Kovacs, do you copy? Oh, number six. What happened? Did you make it to the safe house? Take the next exit right, number four. Not yet, we're still on the road, but I think we lost them. For now. Any news from Trevor? Yeah, but not good news. You're right. About everything. We have to hurry. We must anticipate and maybe... Oh, the dude that fell broke his leg. Oh, he did just break his leg. That's what I said! <laughs> what do you mean by that? There is no time now. Focus on entering the Arcadia control grid, Kovacs. Oof. Okay. Um Maybe we deactivate something in here. Oh, look at that. Man, you were right again. That hall is plagued with infrared beams. Okay. Uh, Do you see a way to shut them down? Uh, there is a device in here. Let me try. I could probably memorize it. It's right. Bottom left. Right again. Middle. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The device to shut the beams down is an hexagon level? What do I do? We cannot wait anymore, Kovax. Memorize, Memorize the position of the beams and try to... Reenact the laser scene from Ocean's 12. You were gonna say right. that, right? Uh, left. Sort right. Of, middle. But without the pop culture reference. Right. Left. Right. Middle. Hee <laughs> hee! I made it. You are now in the Arcadia control grid. Every critical system of the city runs through these servers. I would gladly shut this whole room off if I knew how to. Yeah. Me too. 
but since we do not know how to do that, we should use it to our advantage and find Trevor. I mean, just... If you brought a bat? Honestly? Or an axe? No! I can't believe this machine is also a hexagon level! Oh, thank God. There's one of those access level devices in here. How does this thing work now? Why do they make this process so damn complex? And why does this machine provide access to all levels? I only need hexagon. So you need this one? So you need yellow? Well, it goes here. Are we just guessing what the cable goes through? Damn it. It's not working. Oh, I gotta be missing something. Not really. Oh, yes, there is. A really simple wiring. That's all. I only have to keep track of the yellow cable. I'll take a picture of it just in case. Yeah. That's me. That's literally me when I play games. <laughs> just take a picture of it. So it's mirrored, right? Uh, so we just have to make sure it gets to the end. Oh no, wait, this one as well. So it's this one, then this one. These four. Access level upgrade. Yeah. New level. Hexagon. Nice. Okay, Arcadia control grid. Help me find my good friend, Trevor Clarence Hills. AKA Arcadia's public enemy number one. AKA 10392. Hmm. 372 cameras? Really? Oh, looks like this is gonna take a while, number six. Do you have time now to explain that really bold move you were talking about? Yes. Once you locate Trevor, get him to. You know where old Arcadia is, right? The abandoned prototype town? Oh. Why do you want me to bring Trevor there? Because that is where I thought that was still active too. Oklahoma workshop is. And since we know they stole his technology for the jingle, we need to use it to get it out of Trevor's head. <laughs> what? Removing the jingle? Are you crazy? Th th that plan is like a hundred to one shot to put it mildly. We barely know anything about the jingle. That is why you need to get inside realignment and find as much information as you can. Okay. But only after you bring to Ugh, number four, I told you to slow down, damn it. S stop the car and act casual when the cop comes. Kovacs, please trust me. Bring Trevor to old Arcadia. We're counting on you. Okay. There he is. Ugh, finally. No, 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 Trevor, don't do it. Don't sign that. Comms were locked, so the only way I found to communicate with him was to play an audio file from my phone. The song? And guess what song was the first one in my recently played files? <laughs> Andrew? Kovacs? Is that you? <laughs> okay, and... How do I get a brand new start? Okay. Got it. Although I don't think I'm going to be able to keep doing this using only verses of that stupid song. Ah ha ha, here we go. Oh. Attention! Subject spotted. Send drones to the core courtyard. Oh, <sighs> oh I'm not gonna make it. Uh Ooh. Go go go. Honestly, maybe it is easier with mouse and keyboard. It works a little better. It's weird that they strongly recommend controller, but clicking on things is the easier. Arcadia Core. With the mouse beating and heart of the city of tomorrow. First time I've ever heard of this place. Uh, hi. 
forget what the buttons are. Hmm. Oh! That's not gonna work, is it? Oops. Oh, you can't take it further? Is there... Maybe, uh... uh... Oh, we walked by this! Right, right, right. I was looking at that hole in the ceiling. Earlier. Don't be a fool! <laughs> I'm heading back to my penthouse now, Chief. Make sure everything is ready for tomorrow. Got it? Your penthouse. I will see to it personally, Miss Walton. Just give Trevor some time. He'll come to reason. Oh, they have no idea. Wait, is any isn't anyone watching me on the cams? Oh, and Chief, you don't need to overdo your thing, you know, all the time. Just settle back a little bit, okay? No can do. Oh, Oops. Don't be a fool! Stuck in my head now. Hello? Kovacs, if you can hear me. This place is full of drones. You better do something. Switch on node. Oh, there's a lot of cams. What does that node do? Okay, so I need to follow them and turn them on in order. So those go here. Not that one yet. Too early. Nice. Okay, these are on. Wait, what does this say on the... For Dan. <laughs> Look at they drew him. <laughs> okay. Oh, a hack. So now it's a good drone. Oh. Stun. Okay. Uh, back? Oh no, not back. Select device. Wait, how do I- oh! Oh, and then I can hack another one! The day the running started. Can I- Okay, we can hack that one later, but there's a dude in here. I want to stun. There. Oh, maybe we'll see him better from a different angle. Oh yeah, this angle, right? Cool. Looks like the drones are on our side now. Cool. I don't know where the next cop is though. There. See anyone else? Oh wait, I can switch between them. Oh! This was the second one, right? Oh yeah, wait, that one I got. Cam 3 can be moved? I don't think so. Oh! I almost walked. In front of it. Oh, I was standing right there. Uh. 
That's the right one. That one's not on our side. Can't see him. Or can I? No. At least now that he's hacked, maybe he won't attack me? Yeah. Why is this door beeping so loud? Stop beeping, damn it! Hexagon, drone Can to I Core zap Hall him? 40B. Drone to Core Hall 40B! Drone to 40B! What's going on? The drones are off? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. I am the target. Ah! Uh, they couldn't see me. I think when the other one pokes its head around the corner would be best. Although he doesn't come out immediately. There it goes. Why is this door beeping so loud? Stop beeping, damn it! No, he's Hexagon, going back. Drone to core oh hall shit. 40B. Drone to core hall 40B. Drone to 40B. Go, go, go. What's going on? The drones are off? Crash, crash. Go, go, go. Uh, uh. I the oh, come on, dude. You could go through that. And the one drone goes through the open window. Is it an open window, though? Isn't it just a glass? Oh, it looks open. Yeah, actually, you're right. Why is this door beeping so loud? Stop oh. I see. I didn't. I thought that was. I thought those were glass windows. I mean, why would there not be anything in it? I didn't think I could zap him through that. There we go. You're out. Um. Oh. Oh. Oh! Look at that. Looks okay. like I got a drone army. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Shoot him. Thank you. That's pretty cool. For a second I thought they were all dead bodies in the background. I was I got really worried for a second that it turned really dark. This is amazing. <laughs> There's the subject. Hold it right there. D drop your guns. I'm warning you. These drones now do my bidding. So you you, you better leave, or, or, I won't be responsible for the harm these little killing machines might cause you. Subject, 10392. Uh-oh. You're giving me way too much trouble for a pathetic wimp. I the still wonder door. how you managed to get the required rank to control and manipulate Arcadia's automated personnel. But it doesn't matter anymore. I'll Drop escort us. you back to your cell. As soon as I have you rendered unconscious. Drop door, Kovacs, drop door. If you can hear me, please do something. Kovacs. Who is Kovacs? <laughs> <laughs> so that was Miss Solano's doing. Yes, but she obviously knew it wasn't that far to the ground. That's why she opened the hatch. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. I mean, I have had everything under control. <laughs> what? He said, Kovacs, do something, and I did the first thing that came into my mind. <gasps> Grab the gun. Don't move! Don't move or I'll shoot you, I swear to God! Just shoot him, it's just gonna turn- I know when someone turn... has what it takes to pull the trigger just by looking in their eyes. It's just gonna- and you don't have the Knock him out, right? 392. Do Damn it. Damn it! Just leave me alone! <laughs> Why'd you throw it? <laughs> All systems on high level alert. Hexagon. Hexagon, do you copy? Hexagon ain't yes. here. Oh. I'm behind you. <laughs> there. I'm yes. <laughs> Save your breath for more unintentional rhymes, you blockhead. Go, go, go. Hexagon. Oh, Hexagon! Stop that platform immediately! Uh, 
Oh my god, this is so scary. I'll find another way. <laughs> is anybody in charge? Hexagon! What is happening? Uh, so slow, but at least he's slow too. Ah! Don't like it, don't like it! I knew this Walter was too soft on you. You won't be. Oh, same thing again. There won't be a next time. I can guarantee you that. I have more. I need to wait though. There. Go, 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 go. Uh. go! Oh my god. Okay. There. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, this way. Get up, get up, get up. Go! He's coming after you! Stop running, you miserable wretch! You wretch! You can brainwash me? No thanks! Come on, dude, you're so quick, yes! Okay, so far, so good. Watch me! Oh, he's fast, he's fast, he's fast, he's fast! What? What am I supposed to do? You won't make it to the other side, 10392. There is no escape! You know what? Even my grandpa could jump that! What? Halfway through my jump, I suddenly realized how wicked <laughs> the ladder was. But it was too late to do anything about it. Oh, oh you're no, okay? No! no! I fell about nine feet. Ooh. And I landed in a puddle of some sort of thick liquid. It smelled awful, but it helped cushion the blow. You think you made it, 10392? I don't care. I'll get you again. Thick liquid? You won't get out of Arcadia. This isn't just water? <laughs> I won't allow it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Keep barking, you idiot! I wonder what it is. What what do I do now? Where do I go? Oh. Oh right, old Arcadia. What? On Earth? Welcome to our Chapter Five. Or at least welcome to the land where the city of tomorrow is being built. The Arcadia project is moving forward spectacularly fast, and we hope to have it finished for summer of 1961. Let's take a quick view of some of the amazing perks that Arcadia has to offer. First of all, our suburbs. Modern housing mm -hmm. with the latest technology included, service droids, <laughs> voice-operated devices, and everything a modern American family needs. And with our road system that will communicate easily with the downtown area, you won't have to worry about traffic anymore. Get to work either by monorail or an electric car. <laughs> and what about leisure? If you want to enjoy a good movie, there is a spectacular drive-in theater with an immersive new system called Visiorama. But that's not all. We have a special surprise for our audience, and here is our good friend Arpad Kovacs to explain it to us. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. Walton. Hello, kids. I am here to tell you we are building a new TV studio right here in Arcadia. So from now on, I will be recording Architects of Tomorrow from my workshop right here. Isn't that amazing? So, Arcadia already That's has where its we're going. first neighbor. What are you waiting for? Call and make your reservation so you can be one of the lucky ones to be selected. Ask for housing in Arcadia now and be welcome to... A wonderful tomorrow to live in. Uh-huh, so cool. Arcadia? What? What is this? The original area. Trevor? Trevor, can you hear me? Oh, this damn audio system is so crappy. A 
Angela? Hey, I, I, I'm, I'm here. Do you hear me? <sighs> Finally. <sighs> it's so good to hear your voice. Would they still have cabs in this I? area? Is this the first prototype of Arcadia? Yeah, this was what Walton and Kovacs had in mind. But then Don and the board of directors took over, and they tried to stream into this American nightmare where being unpopular is punished with death. This looks so cool. American Arcadia. I don't know where you got that info, but nobody has been killed in here. Gus is not dead. Vivian showed him to me. But, but, I saw him. I... Well, what exactly did you see? Besides Gus, what exactly did you guards. see? I don't, I don't, uh, forget it. Okay, let's just focus on getting you out of here. I don't think there is a way out of here, Angela. I'm afraid I'm trapped in here. Wouldn't it be, wouldn't want a, a possible plan be like to maybe illegally broadcast? Like, there's cams everywhere, right? So what's stopping Trevor from just like addressing a camera and being like, I am trapped here against my will. I am a citizen of Arcadia and I want out. Like, wouldn't that put enough pressure on the outside to like, let them out? Very good. Wait, remove? You mean, you mean like, brainwashing me? No, 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 not at all. Well, it sounds pretty similar to what Vivian wanted to do with me, with that realignment thing. I know, I know, but we know what we're doing. Trust me. Yeah, mm -hmm. No offense, Angela, but considering how things went last time, it's not easy for me to just blindly trust in your plans. And anyway, even if you magically reprogram me without leaving me brain damaged, I've already crossed the jingle area before, and it didn't work out. How am I gonna get out of the dome anyway? Maybe I can help with that. Oh! Wait, who is this? Number six? Are you okay? Yes, Kovacs. I touched in a couple of minutes ago and heard your conversation. Sorry for the discussion, but I had to interrupt. <laughs> My name is number six. I'm the leader of Breakout, the activist group Kovacs works for. Okay, nice to meet you. <laughs> Take it here. Oh yeah, there's a ladder there. Yeah, there's an abandoned car there. It looks rusty now though. Oh, you can see the devices in the back again, the jingle device. Arcadia is a gilded cage, and we know it. Sid wanted to leave a farewell message. It is his trademark. Hmm, what's that tunnel right in the back? Well, last time you got out, yeah, but... Yeah, but they have two of those jingle emitters on each side. That makes sense. They were not there when we got out. Plus, uh, there might be more built in- Oh, God! <laughs> okay! There we go. That's better. Uh, 
Can I at least have some time to think about it? So, take your time. Whenever you are ready. Hmm. Angela? You still there? Hey, Trevor. Yeah, I'm here. I think this is the Architects of Tomorrow TV set. Wait, that's... That's the piano Kovacs always played at the end of every episode. Damn. It's still there? It was my favorite part. That's what got me into music. You mind if I... No, no, go ahead. Nobody can hear you here. That piano would not sound well after all those years. He's good. Very nice. <laughs> it's going on so long. want to leave I'd be too curious I think about the outside world So cute. I still have to give it a name. Wait, you wrote this? It, it's yours? Yeah, what? It's mine. I didn't know you were so talented, Trevor. Have you ever thought of becoming a professional musician? No. I like to keep that to myself. Hmm. You know, maybe my life wasn't good American Arcadia material, but it was quiet and peaceful. I know I'm not. The most interesting guy on the planet, but I've never hurt anyone. And I don't deserve all the crap that I'm going through. I know, Trevor. And for what it's worth, I have to say that you may not be the most interesting guy on the planet, but you're a good person. And I like you. And I'm sure a quiet and peaceful life is waiting for you out there. Maybe you'll have to shut that grandpa get up and throw on <laughs> something a little bit more up to date. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. We will be extremely careful. I swear. I wonder what kind of job he would get. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. In the outside Just world. Just do it before I change my mind. At that moment, I realized how fond I had grown of that old fuddy-duddy mustache-wearing average show. <laughs> I wasn't doing this because of the Walton Media breakout war anymore. I just wanted to get my friend out of that city once and for all. Ooh. That was really moving, Kovacs. Thank you. It was critical to convince such a valuable asset like Trevor. To... Uh, I haven't said anything to convince him. I just said what I feel. And please, don't call him an asset. Trevor's not an asset, okay? I understand. That's weird. I apologize. It's all right. What do we do now? You must get inside the realignment area and find any relevant information that... Why would Six call him an asset if he's the same, like, 
He's a person. Yeah, I don't trust six anymore. That ruined it. Allows us to comprehend how the jingle works. Oh, do you think they captured six? Because it is just a voice modifier. We don't know. Yeah, because he isn't a valuable asset, really. He's just a guy trying to get out. I really hope your plan works, number six. Still not 100% convinced. Remember, we are at this point thanks to your courage and boldness. You got us to the hexagon. I know, I know, but just in case, let's make sure we don't get out of hand with the boldness. <laughs> hey, what is this? The four steps uh, of the realignment to jingle? To ensure that our citizens never leave, we need them to not have any interest in anything other than living a happy life in Arcadia. Uh, their only aspiration must be routine. Uh, don't get me wrong, our citizens will be interesting. Uh, celebrities, athletes, musicians, but always local celebrities, local athletes and local musicians, things like that. Even so, there will always be those who, driven by mere curiosity and an irrational impulse or just plain and simple stupidity, will do something that might bring them close to the dome's edge. We are saving an ace up our sleeve for that situation. Any violation of the Burbank Act will result in the absolute suppression of all means of self-control of that particular individual. Hmm? That feeling of well-being will turn into almost complete incapacitation. If that measure isn't enough, they must perceive the outside world as a hostile, harsh, and unwelcoming environment, even threatening. To keep citizens from wanting to leave, we will have to reinforce each and every one of their fears. Arcadia means safety. The world outside means danger. But we have to give them the illusion of freedom. Otherwise, we will face another breakout. And the only way to achieve this requires a complete distortion in their perception of freedom. They will not long for it because Arcadia will be the only place where they can feel really free. Hmm. Jesus, this shit is Orwellian and disgusting. Donald Walton was a really sick man. Oh, big area. Looks like every brand in the world has a spot here. What do you mean? Well, their logos are everywhere. Car brands, computer manufacturers. Muscle motion. Arcadian affair. Hmm. What do we have here? This machine seems to require a subject ID code to work. Kovacs, set it to Trevor's. 10-392. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There are some branded logos in this machine, and they seem to be related to the jingle somehow. Are those brain waves? So this is what Trevor experiences every time he hears the jingle? Mm. Oh my God! That's how they tailor the preferences of Arcadia citizens and prepare everything that happens around them. Setting aside how ethically reprehensible this might be, this machine will tell us how Trevor's brain reacts to external stimuli. We should use it to our advantage, Kovacs. Yeah. There's a QR reader in this machine, so I better find something to feed it. Okay. An instrument manufacturer. I guess this might represent music. Okay, there might be multiple, multiple ones lying around. Hmm. An Adenet dating service. Most citizens end up being matched with NPCs who provide them with exciting and generally completely fake love stories. Okay, let's try that. According to this, Trevor feels like a romantic relationship might turn his world upside down. He might not have any control of his life, and this scares him. Yep, that sounds like him. <laughs> this machine works, no doubt about it. 
Playing piano strengthens Trevor's mastery and his sense of freedom. Ooh. Okay. Need to find five more cards. Rush Motors. The guys who manufacture the perfect work of the He does like cars. Trevor. They must hire the worst of the worst to work here. I mean, how could you live with yourself knowing what you're doing to people? Well, you work at American Arcadia. Ooh, okay, that was a low blow number six. Looks like a retro version of an SP Next joypad. There we go, games. Oh, he was very good at arcade games. Vivian's Disco Club. No matter where I go, I keep seeing her. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is that awful line of workout videos and fitness meals. I think they sponsor Steve Just. Okay. Might that be it? Oh. Can you read that? Not quite. Oh, that's scary. A healthier life would make Trevor less scared of dying, but also more unhappy and less free. I think I'm oh, the pet one really I don't have. Stress Trevor out, and they seem to turn his mood upside down. Driving makes Trevor feel in control, but also in need of some freedom. Trevor looks pretty skilled playing video games, but from the looks of it, he doesn't have a great time playing them anymore. Hmm. I overlooked one somewhere, pets. Where, oh, where are you? QR code? Hmm. I didn't go down here though, let me see. Ah, pet food. From Labradors to Florida box turtles. Turtles! I don't know why exactly we're doing this. Couldn't we just get another car Trevor's and get him pet through that Kodaks tunnel? Is a pillar of everyday happiness for him. Aren't we like brainwashing him now? So are we supposed to see something from this? Aspiration is good, but he's not showing. Oh, just for cars. Suppression, self-control, strengthen, distortion. Do I press something in the back? Realignment booth. This must be what Vivian told Trevor about. Anything that you might associate with Arpad Kovacs or the Viziorama? Absolutely. Uh, there are huh. even some Looks like Vizio this booth can be goggles in to here. generate something entirely different. A, a customized jingle, if you will. Okay, so we... We choose the things that he likes, right? So his pets. The games, the cars. We music. don't want this. Oh. Kovacs, I was thinking that jingle generator you mentioned. It might come in handy. For what? I don't see a way to remove the jingle from Trevor using this thing. Maybe we cannot remove it, but we can induce the opposite message. You're talking about creating an anti-jingle? Anti-jingle. Apparently, I coined the term. But it was number six who laid out the whole thing. It sounded simple, convincing, and a good idea. First, we completely distort the vision of his routine. We show him how strange his ordinary life is by altering it. Next, we strengthen his sense of control. We reinforce his decision-making and provide him with resolution instead of suppressing it. After that, we remove Trevor's fear of the outside world. There would be nothing to stop him from getting out. And then we give him a new aspiration. Total and complete freedom. Guess what, number six? That plan might not be a long shot after all. Okay. So we need to counteract these four things.
We wanted to push him away from his routine, right? So we choose something that he's scared of? Like the dancing? Or strength training? Oh wait, yes, yeah, it says routine, control, fear, freedom. Wait, what's what did it say? It first was distortion. It was aspiration last. Was it strengthened next? So is it like from right to left? Distortion, strengthen, suppression, aspiration. So love, music, pets, cars. Love, music, pets, cars. Does that work? Yes, yes, yes. Looks like I got it, number six, I got it. Now, what do we do next? The drive-in theater must be the place. And while he's looking at the adjustment screen through his Visiorama goggles... We send the anti-jingle through the audio system and BAM! Trevor is free of the jingle! Damn it! What oh. is happening? Oh! Attention all security personnel! Oh, we're Come in trouble. Immediately to realignment. Uh oh. There has been a security breach in the hexagon. You better get out of there now. On my way. Shit, shit, shit. So, in that moment, I realized that I had to escape from a top notch security building if I didn't want to spend my life in jail. Needless to say, I got the hell out of there as fast as I could. I was worried sick about Trevor, but number six was there with him, so what could go wrong? <laughs> Famous last words. Trevor, this is number six. I will be here to help you through the whole deprogramming process. What? Why? Where's Angela? Kovacs had to... go. But everything will be okay, I promise. Meanwhile, I will be in charge of the sole operation. Uh, okay. What do I do now? Move forward, please. Yeah, I don't trust them anymore, but we'll see what happens. Hey, this is Arpad Kovac's workshop. That is correct. Look around for some sort of headset. Those would be Visiorama goggles. There they are. I can see them here. Put them on, please. <laughs> Elijah Walton's car. The Walton mobile. Yes. <laughs> he looks so funny. Drive straight ahead. Let's go. <laughs> so cute. Arrived, I will take care of the rest. How does this still okay. work? Great. That car was left there for years and years, right? Like I can get it still being powered cuz it's probably all on the same energy grid, but oh wait, actually maybe the car is in a charger then as well. You know, I got to admit this town does have a special kind of charm. It means a lot to me. It was the last thing I saw from Arcadia before getting out. Okay, I'm here. Shall we do this, Trevor? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Cross Let's finger, try it. Trevor. We are counting on you. <laughs> Please adjust your goggles. Okay, I will adjust my goggles. <laughs> I'm ready. How are you feeling now, Trevor? Uh, should I be feeling any different? I don't know. Everything is still the same. <sighs> I don't think this worked at all, number six. You want me to stay in here? This is a waste of time. Ah, oh, crap. So, what do we do now? Do you guys have a plan Z? Number six? Are you there? Where'd he go? Where do I go? Whoa! What on earth? This is so weird. Um... Is Don't this... be a fool, Trevor. Distort your routine. Who said that? Should I not do that then? Oh, 
I guess I don't have a choice. I was like, well, if I don't want to do my routine, then I shouldn't check in, right? Trevor Hills, welcome to American Arcadia, Stage 10B, Sector 9. It's like, um... Your life has been broadcast live for 28 years, 6 months, and 2 days. But nobody gives two shits about it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Clark. Hi, Trevor. <laughs> Lucille? Hi. Hello, mannequin. Hello. Oh. The mannequin said hello. hello empty chair? Trevor, oh, my man. Gus, you're not dead. Of course I'm not. I'm living on the edge now. Who'd have thought, huh? By the way, you're going to the Spire party tonight? No, I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, would it kill you to do something interesting for the audience? <laughs> Once in a Send while? Send to Ada and validate it. <laughs> Don't be a fool, Trevor. Strengthen your Whoa. control. I'm inside a video game? Whoa, that's Crazy so today. cool. Are you ready to infiltrate the secret Spectrex fortress? No, I'm not into video games anymore. We need you to defeat the evil Spectrex army once and for all. Move forward. Let's go. Admiral, where do I go? There's no way to... Space Cadet, execute the downward to upward escape maneuver. The what? What do I do? Oh. Well done, Space oh. Cadet. You'll rise in the ranks in no time. That's like a video game. <laughs> you just reset on the other edge of the screen. Now that's retro tactics. Oh, so I can do it again. Ah. God, do you remember Mario? Where it's like... You go... You go to the right side of the screen and then come out on the Ooh. left. Uh, okay. I was hoping to land on the T, but actually, what's that gonna do for me? Not much. I should do this. Yeah. Beware, Space Cadet! There's an evil Spectrex ship! Where? What are you talking about? Okay, I gotta land right here. This is cool. I see what you want me to do. Gotta wait and go. Sweet. Press the button to destroy the Spectrex Fortress once and for all. Let's go. So is this Trevor reprogramming his own brain? Oh, I'm so good. Okay, this is getting a little trickier. There you go. Nice. You managed to defeat the evil Spectrex army and save the galaxy. Now enter your initials. I did it. Congratulations. I'm such Space a gamer. TCH, the stellar defense is proud of you. Wow. Playing. Insert coin. Uh, oh my god. Oh no, the credits. Ooh. Watch out. Oh, I can't move. Don't be a fool, Trevor. Whoa. <laughs> oh my fear. god. Oh, what are we doing? Wait, are they not bothering me anymore? 
speakers? Oh, aliens. Oh. Hi there. Dude. Hello there, buddy. Oh. Any secrets you want to share? You got anything to show us? We're bored. I want to know more about you. Tell me about you. Uh. How do you feel about everything? I don't really want to know, but I need entertainment. Open uh. up to us. We're uh. eager to consume your life. <laughs> hey, you! You're blocking my way. Move, damn it! You move, jerk! Go down now! Oh! Shut up! I have to go up, and I have to go down, you idiot! Move! You're an idiot! No, you're an idiot! Would you please stop arguing? We've been stuck here for hours! What are we gonna do? I guess I'm not going this way. Hmm. Interesting. What's happening to the music? This is so interesting. I definitely did not expect this to happen. Hey, Trevor, keep going, man. The exit's right there. You got it, me. Are we looping? Should I do something with uh, the arrow? It's, uh, taking quite a long time. How long have I been walking this way? Uh oh. Did the other Trevor send you? The exit's a little bit further, man. So why are you standing there and not going? Just a few more steps and you're out, Trevor. This is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happening? It bothers me that the arrow isn't like symmetrical. Like how the bottom is kind of chipped off. Why is that? Maybe we should go the other way. Oh! Did the other Trevor send you here, Trevor? Yeah, Trevor sent me here, Trevor. There must be a way out, Trevor. Yeah, Trevor, but which way? Wait, what if I go back again? No, 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 no. It's the other way around, Trevor. Ah. Smart. American Arcadia. We don't really care about you. We just want to judge you. <sighs> You're not good American Arcadia material, boy. Feel very Three, spoken five, to. Oh, fum. I smell the scent of a subject on the run. Whoa! Shiver ah! with fear. Shiver <laughs> with fear. You won't make it out of here. I'll show you. Your rhymes suck. Intentional or unintentional. Go, 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 go. Oh. There are thousands just like you locked inside our human zoo. Oh. Oh. Javert will catch you no matter what. You won't escape. You don't have the guts. Nice. You can scream. I'm scared. You can shout. But you will never, ever get out. You know I'll be watching you. And Subject entry 92. Go. You won't get out of Arcadia. You hear me? I won't allow it! Mm. That doesn't even rhyme, you idiot! <laughs> Travel Grant winner! 
Which isn't actually a travel grant, but rather a relocation program. Trevor Hills! Any fans of Trevor Hills here? Of course not! Because he has a boring life that nobody gives two shits about! So he mean. Might find it hard to believe right now, but we really care about his well being. Nah, actually, we don't. So please, when you finish this obstacle course, there's an agreement I need you to sign. Then we'll brainwash you and let you go. <laughs> or maybe not. Who knows? That's the way we handle Arcadia's intricate lies. I think you should underestimate the stuff people like to watch. Oh, look, it's Poinciana Drive, 1465. Wow. The most uninteresting house in Arcadia. That's so cool. Please, leave me alone. Oh. Oh, that was weird. Ooh, looks like he found out he's <gasps> inside a TV show. What is Average Joe gonna do now? And most important, who cares? Shut up! You're a horrible person! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> horrible, but interesting. Unlike you. Ah! This is so weird! Wait, I wanna go this way. <laughs> it was all inverted, too. Can we... Oh, I can't do anything here. I guess this is for later. Let's see, I gotta go down first. Trevor, oh, the ooh. ratings oh. are plummeting and it's all your fault. Now Trevor is inside the Grand Hotel Cygnus. Although he obviously can't afford it. I live in Arcadia. Why would I want to stay at a hotel? But you can't afford it anyway, can you? <laughs> okay, how am I gonna get down? Can I turn the TV around somehow? Oh, I can maybe bring this with me. That is so cool. Maybe I can hang off the edge of the door. Oh, dear lord. Um Okay. Okay. And another plan that fails. Good job. What is that now? Plan E? Plan F? You're Dude, I'm working on it! Jeez! Rome wasn't built in a day. Let me cook! There we go. <sighs> and then I can go here? Oh good! This place again. Definitely on a clip show. Trevor, this is not good American hey. Arcadia material! <sighs> Nice. Just keep pushing, dude. Where are you going, Trevor? We'll get there. Why are you still oh, this when is you so is no mind-boggling. Escape from Arcadia. Mind your own damn business. Yeah, we're gonna slide. Oh yeah, we are. are. Some sort of action hero. Uh oh, what's happening? You've been conditioned to recognize an acoustic pattern. You've been hearing it throughout your whole life. Oh, I'm in the background. A sensation of well-being and comfort. You were born with it, just like any other Arcadian citizen. So the only way to escape Whoa. from Arcadia is by pressing a fail-safe button. Okay. A fail-safe button. A fail-safe button. This is so cool. You'll be free of it in a matter of seconds. Hmm. Wait, did that do it, you think? Oh, creepy. I knew it! Well done, TV children. eyes! Okay, who is this? What's that? I am Angela Guardiana. Oh. Wow. 
A guardian angel. Like Clarence in It's a Wonderful Life. Now your aspiration must be freedom. Freedom like no other. In a sunlight chrome Rush 166M, the most perfect <laughs> engineering ever designed. And your favorite car. Oh my god. Let's go! Do they say that in um in English as well? If you watch too much TV, you get square eyes. My mom would tell me that when I was young. If you come to over. They say it in English too. With in Dutch, you say it as well. Of Kovacs, of course. Look at you go! Whoa! Kovacs! Wow. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Thanks to my exquisite, exquisite cabbage, cabbage breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> that was uh, quite a trip, trip huh, Trevor? Trevor? Was? Are you sure the jingle won't affect me now? Of course. You're 100% jingle free. Jingle -free. Wow. Science always finds a way. Shit, this is awesome. Oh, FT, I forgot. Finally, man, you're, you're gonna, gonna make it. No, 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 Kovacs, don't say that. You'll jinx it again. Oh, oh no, I jinxed it. Oh, no, not again, man. Uh, I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not feeling so well. So well. I'm, I'm glitching. glitching. Oh, no, I'm, I'm glitching. glitching. Did it work, then? Trevor, uh -oh. what are you doing in here? This is the limelight. The <laughs> He's dancing. Fifteenth floor of the Arcadia Spire. Go, Trevor. Oh, Go, Trevor. Yours truly, Vivian Walton. I don't want to be here. I'm not really into clubbing. Then leave now. Yeah, I would, but I can't stop dancing. I gotta admit, this rhythm is super groovy. Oh. Keep your hands off my CCTV system. You don't have the required rank to control and or manipulate Arcadia's devices. I'm just trying to get out of here. Leave me alone. Well, well, if it isn't jingle emitters. Stop messing with the Arcadian-born citizens. <laughs> That's the pop Knock it off, the you pathetic, black. boring idiot! I'm going She's up. so mean! Yeah! This ends today, Vivian! You hear me? Arcadia ends today! I hate you! I hate you! The feeling is mutual! <laughs> you are a mediocre, dull, uninteresting person! And you are ruining everything. You're damn right. I'm gonna ruin this city for good. You don't have the guts, Trevor. This ends today, Vivian. You hear me? Arcadia ends today. No, 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 no. Don't press it, Trevor, please. No. Mm -hmm. No, no, I melt. <laughs> I'm melting. Oh, I gotta, I gotta watch Who Framed Roger Rabbit again. Uh, uh, that was intense. Jesus, my head. Number six, is that you? Yes, it is me. How do you feel now, Trevor? Like I took the worst thirty-minute nap of my life. I feel like it was more like six hours. You've been unconscious for almost ten hours. Ten hours. Really? But I assume you are finally free of the jingle. Now, get out of the car and head towards And what about what about the others? What do you mean the others? The other twenty-three thousand four hundred and thirteen Arcadian born citizens. What about them? We will come back for them, but for now we must get you out. Sorry, but I'm not leaving. Are we going to the not tower? Not before I press that fail-safe button and take the Arcadia Dome down. Trevor, listen. You are confused. You're talking nonsense. Please, turn Please off. thank Angela for everything. He's not going left to right anymore. I waited for hours, 
And there was no news from Trevor or number six. Nothing. I was thinking that our plan had gone down the drain for the fourth or fifth time. Worst activist group ever. But then, something happened. Something that it nobody worked too had well, taken into account. brainwashing. That I was the only one following Trevor's track camera. What the f- You gotta be shitting me! Mm-hmm. People are watching. You gotta check in. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It is indisputable that times are changing, and everything seems to be brand new these days. Brand new audiences with is she brand gonna new pretend interests that, it was... that interact and communicate using brand new devices. That they came up with it. At Walton Media, we believe American Arcadia needs to keep evolving and adapting. Many years ago, we expanded from free-to-air TV to a cable network. When the internet arrived, we grew from a television channel to a website. And now, smartphones are here. A new challenge. So, I present you the brand new American Arcadia Live app. Now you'll just be a click away from enjoying all the best American Arcadia content in your phone. You don't need to tune your TV or log into your computer anymore to enjoy a popular character crucial moment or that special event you've been waiting for for months. And don't worry about missing a thing. Because when anything interesting happens to your favorite characters, the AA Live app will notify you instantly. With its brand new real-time stream, you can vote live. You can comment live. You can be part of American Arcadia live. We are excited to bring all of the American Arcadia content to every user everywhere in the world at any time. Okay, you guys want to know a release date? Right now. Well, AA Live is available to download right now, and it's completely free! Not counting micro purchases, of course. <laughs> wow. I've always tried to be a <laughs> I'm a nice and polite person. I greet my neighbors. I'm a committed professional. I've never refused to work overtime when I've been asked to, not once. A million viewers. I pay my taxes religiously. Say it, my dude. <laughs> by Vivian Askus is out the chat. <laughs> ever, ever committed a crime. Not even a minor traffic violation. I have never even littered. Ever. And you have screwed up my life for good, you miserable pricks. You're gonna pay for this, Arcadia! Am I... Oh, oh okay. no. He's really going to the Spire. There's something really weird happening here. And then, I started to connect the dots. How is it possible that until then, I was Trevor's only follower? And suddenly, now, he had more than a million viewers. There was only one person, besides me, who knew where Trevor was. Number six knew a lot of things about me. But what did I know of him? Mm-hmm. Something didn't add up. So I decided to track him. Smart. Where are you now, you always resolute, no contractions, lying piece of shit? Let's find out. Her curse, <laughs> when she curses, it always catches me off guard. He's in the state. Number six is in the city too? This, this is the area. He's, Jesus. He's no, in the dome? No, 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 no. Vivian. Number six is inside Arcadia. In the dead God, center, I'm such too. such an idiot. I have to get inside Arcadia and quick. But That's why they didn't want you to go in. Controls. And I know where they come from. Trevor, I'm coming. Stay safe and, hi, Dios mío. 
392, stop the car. Surrender now or we'll be forced to use extreme measures. Mm. Extreme measures? You want to run me off the road again? Huh? Let's see who pushes who now, you bastards. Take this. Damn, dude. Get us killed. Oh, oh, now I'm crazy. Let's see how crazy no, no, I no, no, get. No, no, no. <laughs> Is that crazy enough for you? <laughs> Chill, bro. This guy's crazy. Bumper cars. <laughs> Soar higher than ever before? Soar higher than ever before? Yeah. I'll soar higher than ever before. <laughs> and that was my second class of the weekend. But this one was broadcast publicly. <laughs> oh, it was, yeah. At least this time I crashed on purpose. Well, not exactly, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Ah. Ah. I'm still he mad. Here. He lost it. It ends today. Arcadia ends today. Oh my god, I'm playing now. <laughs> this is so meta. <laughs> Rip Trevor. Is he still alive? Ten, three, oh shit. Two. Hold it. Where are you going? Ah. You know where I'm going. Catch me if you can! <laughs> Hold it right there, subject. Oh shit. Time to go jogging, idiots! Subject is running through the spire basement. Go, go, go! Hey! How's your buddy with the broken leg doing? Send him my regards! <laughs> what did you just say, you asshole? <laughs> Please remember to adhere to official interceptor terminology. Shut up! This is personal now! <laughs> now it's personal? Well, good! Uh oh, more people. Out of my way! Go, 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 go! Faster, faster, faster! Let's go, baby! Let's go, my boy! Hashtag Team Trevor! <laughs> Oh, nice tree. God, that is so cool. That would be a beautiful lobby. Come on, what a time you cowards. Where am I trying to get to? He's running to the hallway fountain. You didn't see for Oh, we're climbing up the fountain. Front of my ass. 10392 is climbing that the What is he doing? This guy's a lunatic. What? You afraid of heights? <laughs> <laughs> he is. I'll try to. Oh, two million viewers! Two million viewers! Wait, am I going down again? Uh oh. Get him before he gets inside the elevator. I was happy up there. Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! Hi. Hello. <laughs> Didn't we meet at the Cygnus GG. yesterday? GG! <laughs> oh, oh, hi, yeah, Mark! You're right! <laughs> How is everything? Uh, good, good. You're going to the restaurant, too? Yeah, no, yeah, sure. I'm going to the top of the Arcadia Spire to destroy the city. Uh, oh. Okay. I guess I just got a little bit tired of the good old 70s. But hey, you two enjoy your dinner. Bye! Have a good night. Bye. <laughs> He's unhinged. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a reservation? Nope. No. I do not. Oh my god, he's fast, he's fast, he's fast. Oh. Oh my, out of my way. I hate that song. I hate it. Subject, stop. No. Dude, there's no way you're going to make it. There's too many guards. Surrender now and stop running! This is crazy! Although I guess they didn't expect anyone to actually do this, right? So maybe there's not enough the security no at the escape. button. Failsafe button. Uh, Ooh! Uh, <laughs> they're right behind me! <laughs> Let's hope they don't follow. 2.4 million views. Sneaky Trev. Ninja placed. Ah, <laughs> the emotes! <laughs> this is so funny.
funny. Toast up now, Trev. What the? Wow. What? So I'm meta. Live? On TV? Really? Is everyone watching me now? Listen to me for one second. American Arcadia audience, this is not right. Your sole source of entertainment can't be other people's lives. Their lives belong Let to them. Let him cook! Our Unleash lives belong to- Run free. Oh, you Power miserable and prince. Style and balance. Don't you- <laughs> <have to> <laughs> <commercial> <laughs> This is so good! Is is so good. They just what a dono Walden. Oh my god. This is so funny. Who is this guy? Wow, uh, Trevor is wreaking total havoc. If I wasn't so worried about him, I have to admit I'd be enjoying this a lot. Gotta I focus. can't turn my I need the keys to any of these cars so I can bypass security and make it to the spire before Trevor. Oh, when I hold right click, I can move my mouse. That's weird. Must be a little bug. So, we're trying to find a key. They've been keeping track of Trevor. I mean, obviously. Oh, we're in his office? Oh, shit. Are you gonna steal his car? Oh, shit! He's not gonna be happy with that. Miss Solano. Hi. What are you doing in here? Borrowing your car? Stay away from me. Stay away or- It's over, Miss Solano. Do not come close. What does the fail safe button do? Drop the gun, Miss Solano. Tell me, tell me or I'll, I'll shoot you. I know when someone has what it takes to pull the trigger. Oh, she's gonna shoot. looking in their eyes and you. Don't have Do it. the guts. Shoot him! Yes, yeah! yeah! You weren't supposed to shoot me, you crazy bitch! <laughs> oh, it hurts! Now you know how it feels. Hey, what the- what- what happened to your Darth Vader voice? Oh, yeah! Freaking frickin' weirdo? Oh, what? Wait, I-, I Who the hell are you? Oh, okay, okay, I- I'm Terry Robinson! <laughs> Just an actor! What the fuck? But if you want to make sure that nobody <laughs> leaves this city, I am your man. Okay... Cut. <laughs> How is that? I, I can do it in a different style if you like. A more, like it's TV all a TV oven, show. You know? Cold as ice. Uh, uh, maybe a, a, a Tommy Lee Jones in the Fugitive vibe. No, I, I can do whatever you need. Uh, yeah. We'll get in touch with you in any case, Mr. Robinson. Uh, does that mean that I got the part? Or, uh... Um, we still have to make a decision, Mr. Robinson. Please return the jacket to the wardrobe department when you leave. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> sure. I'm ready whenever you need me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 oh, man! <laughs> I never should have taken this job! <laughs> Listen to me. I still have two more shots in this thing, so you better start spilling the beans or I'll fry your balls. No! No, 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 take the pen drive! Everything is there! What? Hmm. Okay, bye. <sighs> Pathetic. I better check what's inside this pen drive. There's a computer right there. Oh, that's true. Okay. Oh, Jesus. How many floors have I climbed? This is it. Floor 140. This is where Vivian's penthouse is. I should be tired, but I'm bursting with energy. So is this button not going to do anything? This is just going to be the end of the show. I wonder... something where is Steve oh there he is hey 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 calm down man calm down 
Get out of my way. Take it easy, buddy. Don't do anything stupid, all right? I said, out of my way. Do you know who I am? I'm Steve Just. You're in my... Ugh. What the... Jesus. Oh. I told you Whoa. to get out of my way. Oh. oh, and by the way, Arcadia is a TV show. So say hello to your audience, you spandex-wearing idiot. He is unhinged. F in the chat. <laughs> Hi everyone, don't mind me. Oh no, he's going to Vivian's penthouse. You're damn right I'm going to Vivian's penthouse. Mm. Vivian, let me in. Uh, I'm sure she's second. waiting for you. I'll press the fail safe button and then I'll leave. What the? Oh, this city never ceases to disappoint me. It's not actually her More penthouse. These emitters. Funny, I, I can hear the jingle, but it sounds kind of different. Oh. Now it's just annoying, but it's kind of pushing me out instead of keeping me in. Oh, it really worked. Then. Wait, where am I? Outside am I the, the dome. dome. It's snowing. He's never seen snow before. Oh my god, he punched Steve just. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. This is serious. Hi. Good to see you, sir. Thank God for tinted windows. 10392 is inside, sir. We got all our units after him. Thanks for the info, assholes. <laughs> May the Walton Mobile rest in peace. True. Well, at least I know I'm on the right track. How are you gonna... Oh, are you gonna go through that event as well? Or are you just going to take the elevator? <laughs> tiny bug. The tiniest. The tiniest of buggers! Does it work? Can you just take the elevator all the way up? <sighs> really? Kendra, I'm in a little bit of a hurry right now, so... It was you all along, right? Admit it. You have been helping Trevor Hills escape. Yes. You leaked those images to the press. Have you seen the damage you've done? Admit it. Admit it now. Kendra, admit what? What are you talking about? You know what? It's over. You are fired, Angela. <sighs> you know what, Kendra? I would gladly take my severance package and leave this shithole you call a company, but that would prevent me from suing Walton Media. <laughs> oh boy, I guarantee you I am suing all your asses, so I quit. What? And now that I don't work for you, here's something that I've wanted to tell you for a long time. You are a despotic, egotistic, and miserable human being, and the worst boss I have ever had. Oh, you better take that back immediately or I... Or, 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 or what? I no longer work for Walt Media. So what are you gonna do with me now, huh? You pathetic corporate lackey? How dare you! I am going to... Vete pal carajo! That sounded That's muy no caliente. Point. Okay, 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 let's focus. Trevor, Whatever it means. you now? He's still going. Am I controlling? No, he's still going. This is not me. Oh, now it's me. Uh, I want him to shut it all down, but I'm I'm still thinking this might be all a setup. I really hope it's not, but Oh, there she is. Hello. <laughs> Here, look at me. Where's the camera? Oh shit, he can't hear me. Who's filming this and how? Quick, quick, quick! I have to get there with this pen drive. Do you want to stop him? Let's show the truth to everybody. Okay. Okay, it's me again. Now what do you do? You want to shoot me? 
You want to kill me here live? Just try it. Man, this is so high up. Top of the tower. I'm almost there. Made it, Kovacs. Top of the spire. The dragon's lair. Wow. What a place. Okay. Fail safe button. Finally. Should we push it though? I have a bad feeling about it. To chat, press it. No, don't do it. Yes, no. Let the credits roll. Think for a Viewers sec. Viewers of American Arcadia. My name is Trevor Hills. I'm a 28-year-old account manager with no friends and a boring life that nobody gives two shits about. And I'm here to tell you to enjoy these last minutes because your favorite show is getting canceled today. It doesn't do anything, does it? It's fake. Well, now, now what? Trevor, you are live in front of the American Arcadia audience, and you are the first citizen to escape from Arcadia. A thrilling That's brand new smart. American Arcadia spin-off where citizens finally That's manage so to break smart. the fourth wall and escape to the outside world. Each week, a new citizen will find out the truth. And Trevor Hills, a 28-year-old account manager from the Poinciana Drive District, is our first fugitive! That's so smart. Now, let's see a recap of Trevor's run. This is Trevor Hills. Trevor lived a quiet and peaceful life in Arcadia. That's me, the star of the game! that his world was about to be turned upside down very soon and very fast. It all began when his co-worker Gus Rainey won the Edge Travel Grant. Nothing out of the ordinary. But just a few days after Gus disappeared, I knew some it. very strange things. I think it wasn't like... Wait, wait, wait. What? Ooh. What is this? This is Trevor Hills. No, no, no. It's Angela. She's edited the teaser trailer During his video. Uh, Trevor has been the protagonist of yet another example of how Walton Media interrupts a degrading spectacle. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. I think... I think what they did was, like, it wasn't... It wasn't set up from the start. They genuinely wanted to get rid of him. But when they realized it was out of control, the way they could spin it in their favor was to let people on the outside know, pretend that it was all their idea and that it's part of the show. Because then people are like, oh, okay, that's fun. Um... So it, I don't think they set it up from the start to be like that. I think like once they realized he was at a point of no return, they spun the narrative in their favor. Oh, shit, that was a major screw up. Who was in charge of all of this? And who thought it was a good idea to give that guy all the information? He's just a damn actor for God's sake. Hold on a second, Trevor. I don't know. Let me talk with him. I said I'll talk with him, okay? We'll find a way. Jesus, I'm surrounded by idiots. <laughs> what was all that? I told you, the only way to escape from Arcadia is by pressing the failsafe button. So, here we are. This is Escape from Arcadia. The thrilling brand new American Arcadia spin-off where citizens finally manage to break the fourth wall and get to the outside world. Congratulations. You are the first official Arcadia fugitive. Well, you won't be so happy when we bring everything you've done to light. Breakout knows everything. I would not put much faith in Breakout doing anything. Ah, uh, I knew it. Wait, what is this? Another one of the show's intricate lies? Not at all. Breakout, number six, they're not lies. Just, um, you know, controlled dissidents. Can't say the same about Vivian Walton, though. My real name is Emily Garland. <gasps> I was one of the six people who escaped Arcadia many what? years ago. In fact, if you look at some of the leaked pictures, 
You might even see my face. What? When we got out, we found a breakout. We tried to fight against Walton Media. And do you know what happened? After living a few years in the outside world, I begged them to let me back inside. And since Don Walton had died and the company needed a new face to reconnect with the audience, Elijah Walton's lost granddaughter popped up out of nowhere oh. and they got a popular TV host for American Arcadia for the same price. Wow. Sell out. You did this for money? Even when you had been a, a prisoner in here? Hey, it wasn't just me. The six of us reached an agreement, an amount both sides considered acceptable. And about being a prisoner, well... Wait, so then it was set that's up from the start. The most interesting thing that ever happened in Arcadia was our escape. And by the looks of it, I wasn't wrong. You should I was see wrong. the audience ratings. Woo! Through the roof. My god, how... How could... How could you have done all this? Trevor, I don't think you have the full picture. Has Angela told you about how life is out there? Gun violence, addictions, poverty, political corruption, healthcare costs? God, I thought I was locked in a cage, but when I got out, I realized I'd been living in Eden. Well, I don't care. I want to live a, a real life. I want to get out. Do you understand that? I want to get out. Out of where? Look around you. When have you seen snow in Arcadia? You are already out. Oh, and best of luck, because it's 2023 out there and you're almost, what, 30? You don't have any employable skills and you know nothing about the real world. So that's it, Trevor. You're free to leave. Bye bye. Don't let the door hit you. Or. Or what? Or mm. we reach an agreement, an amount both parts consider acceptable. Enough for you to start a new life wherever you want. Just all I ask is that you talk to the American Arcadia audience. Say your life was never really at risk. That's a lie. You've tortured me, you've brainwashed me, you almost killed I could have died! Don't be so dramatic. Everything was under control, except for a few minor things. And technically those were Angela's actions, not ours. You were the one guiding Angela! What will Jesus. happen to Angela? What kind of a monster are you? Listen, I know things would be easier if I were some sort of a soap opera villain that you could blame everything on. But I'm not the villain. Not me, not Walton Media, or that pathetic B-movie actor that Angela tased. No. It's them, Trevor. The audience. They're the villains. They didn't give a shit about your life until you started having a really miserable time. And look at it now, Trevor. You are the most popular person in Arcadia, by far. And what? You need the most popular person in Arcadia to fix your screw-up? <laughs> Trevor, honestly, one sorry-ass edited video isn't gonna prevent Escape from Arcadia from becoming a hit. The audience is quick to forget, especially ours. Having uh -huh. said that, we have invested considerable time and money in this publicity stunt, and we don't want the show to start off on the wrong foot. So. My advice from one Arcadia fugitive to another? Take the big pile of money, say thank you, and leave. Think about it. She could still be... Yeah. yeah I think we're good. Lying about everything. <laughs> yeah. She, it, yep, she could not be one talk. of the six. Hello, we're back, live from the top of the Arcadia Spire. As promised. Trevor Hills, our first Arcadia fugitive, has something to clarify about his exciting run. Do I get to choose? Oh, Trevor, why did you do oh. what you did in that moment? Oh, that. Yeah. Well, Vivian made a poor choice of words. Oh. Do the right thing here, son. Don't be a fool. Don't be a fool! He hates that song. Leave me the fuck alone! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> Release from Arcadia!
Angela sued Walton Media. The case was settled financially. The settlement money Angela and Trevor founded something. That was too quick. Today the audience of both shows is soaring higher than ever before. Yeah. Dude, that was amazing. Holy shit. Turn the music down a little bit. That was crazy good. It went so much further than I thought. From when playing the first chapter, I was like, very charming, very fun. Can't wait to see where it goes. But it went so much further. Ah, the kitty! Kitty and the turtle! The whole bit with the brainwashing and like playing through the TV and stuff being mirrored and upside down. It was so good. And then the bit with the stream and the chat was, they must have actually looked at modern chats because it was so realistic. It was legit stuff that people say in chat nowadays. Maybe a little too heavy on the hashtags, but you know. Voice acting was good. The style was so charming. Gameplay was diverse and impressive. I really like Call of the Sea, but I might like this better. <clears throat> I think... Leave me the fuck alone merch. <laughs> The, legal, the jingle's declared legal! Oh my god. That's a little sad. But it's also kind of realistic. But yeah, thinking back to Call of the Sea, I really enjoyed that game and, and it still sticks with me, the ending. I still think of it every now and then. Are baby farms real? Walton Media de denies all claims. They really went all out for this game, it feels like. Thanks for watching. Oh! Oh! Ho oh. Turtle, we're in Trevor's place! Yeah! Repercussion when we release a documentary? I, I don't have much faith in people opening their eyes. Who knows? We will see, buddy. Did you hear Vivian's last statement? You think they're really gonna sue? No, I doubt they want to go to court again. They definitely know that everything in our documentary is the truth. So, hmm. this is a stalemate. Yeah, I guess it is. You know what still amazes me? How could Vivian experience the same shit that you did and still sell her soul? Well, she didn't have you. Oh, <laughs> look at you. I knew that deep down you're nothing but a big sweet teddy bear. I never said I'm not affectionate. It just takes a little while for me to let people in. Hey, stop picking on me, okay? That thing you wanted to see is starting. <laughs> oh, talking about selling a soul. My name is Steve Just. I was the most popular person in Arcadia. Wow, Steve Just has been Trevorfied. Recently, I found out the truth. You didn't find out anything, you jackass. I told you. After you punched him in the face, which I have to admit was super hilarious. I'm, I'm not exactly proud of that. My life had been nothing but a lie. Now, <laughs> under the alias Kovacs. <laughs> others Kovacs? Oh, come on. They even stole that from us. Let's come up with something original, you assholes. Escape from Arcadia. Sundays at 8 p.m. What a crock of shit. <laughs> Turn it off, Ange. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's so good. Oh, amazing. Yeah, so good. I really, really enjoyed that. Turtle got an upgrade. He did. And they're friends, maybe lovers down the line, eventually, maybe someday. Oh, God, I am so impressed. <laughs>